on the API Explorer homepage. Search for Cloud Services and open APIs. On the Details page of an API, view the documentations, including the function's description, URI, Request and Response Parameters, Example Request and Responses, Return Values and Error Code. You can also set parameters to debug the API. To integrate a Huawei Cloud Open API, click the Sample Code tab, select an SDK of a desired language, and set parameters to generate sample code. API Explorer supports seven common programming languages. If you use the CLI, click the CLI Example tab and generate commands. You can use the CLI on or off the cloud. To debug APIs on API Explorer, log in to Huawei Cloud. Debugging means calling APIs. You may be built for API calls. SDK Center brings the latest SDKs for Huawei Cloud services together in one place. You can search for SDKs in different languages and reference SDKs from popular central repositories, facilitating the use of Huawei Cloud Open APIs. On Huawei Cloud official website, choose Documentation, SDK. On the SDK Center homepage, Search for Cloud Service SDKs. View and download SDKs in Java, Python, Go, Node.js, .NET, PHP, and C++. From Maven, IP, NPM, NuGet, and other popular central repositories. Open SDK source code projects of different languages and view the instructions on how to install and use these SDKs on GitHub. Huawei Cloud Developer Forum is a place where you can view and post technical questions and feedback and let the community benefit from your knowledge. The forum provides contents such as technical interpretation, documentations, and Q&A, and hosts online activities at times. To access the forum, you can visit the Huawei Cloud homepage and click Developer Forum under Documentations on the top navigation bar. On the homepage of the forum, you can select all questions or a specific section to view the articles and questions posted by developers and sections moderators. You can like, comment on, or share the post you are interested in. You can also share your own experience and knowledge to inspire other developers. Select a learning path. Click Enroll Now. Click Enroll Study. On the login page display, enter your Huawei Cloud account and click Login. Click the chapter and section names to watch the course videos. Select a course. Click Enroll Study. View the course information. 
choose a certification program. Click Learn More. Select Certification Level and Technical Domain. On the Certification Details page display, click Start next to Online Learning to start learning the courses. Click Start next to Hands-on Practice to start exercises by following the guide. Click Start next to Practice Exam to take the exercise exam. Click Start next to Written Test to schedule the written exam. After you pass the written exam, click Start next to Certificate to download the certificate. Hello everyone, I'm Su Yongying, a Product Lifecycle Manager of Huawei Cloud Model Arts. Today, I'm glad to share the topic, Model Arts Best Practices, Cloud Native AI Development, based on Industry Algorithm Suites. How does an AI engineer develop apps to deal with AI service problems or abstract AI problems? There are two challenges. First, how do we use data to quickly build experiment prototypes and explore and iterate them? Second, how can we efficiently develop and produce standard deliverables to accelerate the implementation of AI services? In the exploration phase of proper This is a service. The core of industrial digital transformation is software. In the past, most industrial software had a monolithic architecture, which required a lot of customization to different requirements, but also limited the sharing of such customization. For example, Huawei's product data management used commercial software that had undergone heavy secondary development, involving a total of 6 million lines of code. However, because the software had monolithic architecture, Huawei's innovations cannot be shared with its customers in the industry. Huawei Cloud works with partners and developers to build industrial APAS and accelerate industrial software development and SaaS. Today, I'm announcing the Data Model Engine. This data model-driven engine service has 24 industrial data models covering materials, electronics, requirements, and processes. Partners and developers can use these models to quickly develop their own products. It's like having the most skilled software engineer walk you through modeling and development. Let's hear the story from our partner, PISX. We used to spend two years developing our monolithic architecture PDM software and at least half a year to customize it for each customer. Using Huawei Cloud's data model engine, we built a SaaS-based PDM in only seven months and rolled out in just two weeks. Development cost was 10 times less. Once a customer raised 10 customization requirements that were not supported by traditional PDM, we completed seven in a day. The customer was very satisfied. Thank you, PISX, for your sharing. In urban scenarios, the government provides various citizen services such as entrepreneurship support, food source tracing, and city governance to ensure orderly development. Drawing on experience with more than 600 e-government cloud projects, Huawei Cloud has built the government APAS, aggregating more than 60 ecosystem partners in China and more than 100 government service APIs. With these APIs, developers and partners quickly innovate applications and help government agencies manage cities more efficiently. Here's one example. It may not be a familiar subject, but it's closely related to our daily lives. When handling construction waste, the government needs to monitor the entire process from generation to disposal. 
identify violations quickly, and provide handling suggestions. This process involves collaboration between multiple government departments, such as urban transportation, law enforcement, and environmental protection. Using the Violation Identification API of our government APAS, our partner ePoint automatically analyzes behavior in violation captured by cameras, such as handling, and distributes the suggestions to corresponding management departments. In this way, it takes only several minutes to locate a violation and a few hours to conclude the issue handling. Northern Chinese winters are as long as five months, and central heating is very important for people living there. Huawei's cloud heating APAS has more than 10 partners and 98 smart heating APIs, covering the whole process from heat sources, heat exchange stations, buildings, and households. This APAS ensures precise and balanced heating, keeping every household warm in the winter in a smart, efficient manner. Right now it is summer in China, the time to prepare for this winter's heating. Huawei Cloud and our partner replicate this use case to 15 provinces in northern China, serving 10 billion square meters that need central heating. In the future, we can extend such capabilities to the cooling domain. Let's check out how Beiming Software uses our heating APAS for Harbin. We work with Huawei Cloud to build a smart heating system, serving 130,000 Harbin residents. The heat demand prediction API of this APAS can accurately predict the total hourly heat production for the next three days. The heat supply balance optimization API accurately adjusts over 1,000 valves to balance the heat supply temperature between buildings and between households. Currently, the project reduced the overall energy consumption by 12.1%, saving energy and reducing emissions. Thank you, Beiming Software. In the coal mining industry, Huawei has also established a dedicated team to explore intelligent methods for safe, efficient mines with leaner workforce. Huawei Cloud has built a Pangu model for mines. It is a pre-trained foundation model for massive mine data. When building applications, Partners and developers do not need to train models from scratch. They only need to input small samples for optimization to quickly generate AI services for different mining scenarios. Currently, we have integrated 18 machine vision APIs to the mining APAS, covering main business processes such as mining, excavation, machinery transport, and communications. In this way, mines become highly and even fully automated. Miners can get their work done sipping coffee in the control room. This solution is replicated to more than 4,000 wells in China. For example, in coal mining transport, a belt may be blocked by a large chunk of coal, an anchor, or a steel bar. Our partner, JYLink, uses the Belt Object Identification API to quickly detect objects that should not be on the conveyor belt. The identification precision exceeds 98%, detection efficiency improved by 10 to 100 times, and the number of safety accidents is reduced by 90%. This insulates the mine against losses caused by suspended production. Digitalization plays an increasingly important role in the education industry. Huawei Cloud works with partners to build the Education APAS and more than 30 APIs in five categories. These APIs cover live classes, mass grading, and oral exams. They apply to core teaching processes such as course development, teaching, examination, assessment, and management, making teaching and the learning smarter. Huawei Cloud and TAL have built an assignment grading service for the Chinese language. Even if student essays include scribbles and repeated corrections, the OCR API is over 95% accurate. In addition, thanks to the experience of more than 200 language experts, the Smart Grading API assesses essays from different dimensions, such as subject, structure, and expression, and provides corrections for improvement. With the Education APAS, teacher grading is 70% more efficient, and students can receive suggestions from teachers more quickly. In addition to industry expertise, Huawei Cloud builds many general-purpose capabilities into the APAS. Cool Message is one example. It is a rich media messaging service for enterprises. Cool Message covers all scenarios, including 
Business Touch, Smart Messages, 5G Messages, and Message Push. It can also reach more than 300 device types, including mobile phones, tablets, PCs, smart screens, and smart watches. Cool Message is used by 500 million devices today. In this year's Spring Festival, Cool Message helped VIP Shop carry out its Red Packet campaign. Let's hear from our customer. VIP Shop uses Huawei Cloud's Cool Message to customize message content and recommend different offerings to customers based on individual preferences. So our push messaging is personalized and precise. We launched the Around the Clock Red Packet promotion through Cool Message to subscribers of our recommendation service. They liked the promotion and the click-through rate increased significantly. In the future, we hope that the technical teams of VIP Shop and Huawei Cloud can continue to work closely, optimize product functions, and provide more service templates to build Cool Message into a benchmark of VIP Shop marketing. Thank you, VIP Shop. Cool Map is a map service launched by Huawei Cloud. It serves in smart city, resource monitoring, logistics, and travel applications. We work with companies such as China Siwei and the Changguang Satellite to provide remote ground sensing data from more than 50 satellites. Together with more than 40 partners such as SF Map Technology and the PIE SAT, Huawei Cloud provides more than 400 cluttered terrain analysis APIs. Huawei Cloud works with Das Patio to build a digital twin for smart cities in the Middle East by using 3D modeling APIs. This triples the efficiency of traditional offline modeling. The accuracy of surface object identification reaches 98.7%. In addition, changes in urban conditions can be monitored monthly, enabling city managers to maximize the usage of every inch of land while handling urban planning and governance problems. With so many cloud services, how can our customers find what they want? Our cloud introduces Cool Gallery, our cloud store. We've upgraded our rich offerings, premium quality, bespoke innovation, and shared success. Cool Gallery aims to be the preferred cloud store for enterprises. Currently, Huawei Cloud products cover more than 10 industries such as manufacturing, education, government, and mining, and more than 7,400 offerings in nine categories such as SaaS and APaaS. It connects to over 3 million Huawei Cloud users and developers, helping partners accelerate time to value. In the future, we will accumulate more industry expertise to Huawei Cloud so you can access industry know-how as easily as you do water and electricity and replicate more successes. Now let's take a look at technology as a service. Last year, Huawei Cloud released three pipeline services. Our new pipeline this year is Data Arts. Designed for data governance, Data Arts helps enterprises unleash the value of their data by managing and using it more conveniently and efficiently. In the past, different phases of data source access and data governance needed different tools. Now Data Arts is a one-stop platform to implement data governance throughout the entire process from importing data into the data lake to its preparation, quality, and application. In addition, intelligent governance is an integrated capability to help data developers improve efficiency. For example, during data preparation, Data Arts cleans, checks for duplicates, and aggregates data as easily as working with an Excel file instead of repeatedly compiling multiple SQL scripts. Data development is shortened from several days to hours. Now let's hear Fan Run software story. Since 2019, the data governance solution jointly developed by Fan Run Software and Huawei Cloud has served nearly 200 manufacturing customers. 
Currently, Finran Software BI is deeply integrated with data arts, providing our customers with more intelligent and efficient end-to-end -end capabilities of data development, governance, and application, and enabling data to generate true value in customer service. In the Xinyi Glass project, Huawei Cloud's data arts integrates IT system data and hundreds of thousands of data points from production equipment and processes to efficiently process data and establish an enterprise-level data catalog. Thanks to our experience in BI, we help Xinyi Glass achieve visualized, analyzable, and predictable operation data and risk warning, shorting the operation report generation from one week to one hour. In addition, Finran software visualizes energy consumption and process data, promotes horizontal comparison and vertical optimization of production line data, greatly improving the energy consumption of production lines and saving tens of millions of Chinese yuan every year. Thank you, Finran Software. Last year, Huawei Cloud released Model Art, our AI development pipeline. Today, I announced its upgrade, Model Box, the AI application development framework. In the past, AI application developers spent an average of half a year adapting to the different chips and systems on the cloud edge and devices, which is time consuming and labor intensive. Model Box abstracts away the differences between underlying software and hardware and enables AI applications that are developed once, deployed anywhere. This shortens cross-platform development and adaptation by 80% and improves inference performance by 2 to 10 times. Currently, Modelbox is open source with more than 30 ecosystem partners. Let's take a look at the case presented by LL Vision. Since last year, we have worked with Huawei Cloud to build an AR plus AI oil and gas field inspection solution. By combining Modelbox and AR, we easily link the cloud with devices. We developed AI applications on the cloud and deployed them on devices such as AR glasses, smart cameras, and servers in just one click. In this way, high-performance AI applications such as 3D rec reconstruction and the location identification run smoothly with AR glasses, helping quickly guide pipeline inspection routes and identify device faults. Thank you for sharing your story, LL Vision. Next, let's tune into Meta Studio, our digital content pipeline. What new features will it bring today? Let's give the stage to Sarah, our digital team member from Meta Studio. Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. The market for virtual humans like you is very hot right now, but you can cost a million yuan to make. Animating you is even harder. So there are very high entry barriers in both resource and technology. Not everyone can afford you. What is your view? Are you complaining about my cost? Actually, I do not cost that much. I'm from Meta Studio, and I'd like to bring the new services of Meta Studio that aim to democratize virtual humans. First, generating virtual humans. Simply upload a photo to generate your 3D avatar. Your virtual human has your facial features, and you can add your own touches with beauty filters. This way, everyone can create an avatar easily. These are the designers behind Meta Studio and their digital persons. It's really easy and affordable. Welcome to the Metaverse and try it yourself. Yes, please, but I have one question. How are you useful in real life? Well, I will now bring two services to make virtual human affordable and useful. First, virtual live streamers. A lot of you have watched them, but they are mostly animated live streamers in 2D. But why can't they be in 3D instead of 2D? Because 3D virtual humans require costly equipment for motion capturing. However, Using our virtual human live streamer service, all you need is a camera. Right now, I am driven by this lady on the screen. Hi everyone, I do not have motion capturing devices on me. I am driving Sarah via a consumption grade camera in front of me. My emotions and facial expressions are reflected accurately on Sarah. This has many commercial applications. For example, such an expressive virtual streamer is persuasive to online shoppers. For example, I may say, wow, this is amazing. All girls should get one. Or this can be used for online fitness coaching. 
Will you join me? That's amazing. What's the tech behind it all? Can you tell us? All right. Let me talk about the latest tech that improves user experience. In addition to my AI algorithm that drives for accurate movement, my video is smooth, with completely synchronized movements, thanks to Huawei Cloud's powerful live stream and real-time audio and video capabilities. The latency is less than 100 milliseconds. This takes your experience to a whole new level. And now this solution has been used by Hunan DAO Entertainment Media. Lastly, our virtual human video generation service. Users can simply upload a text, then an AI-driven video of virtual human will be generated. In this way, massive contents can be generated in a short time. Moreover, there is another function that allows you to set different emotions, such as excitement, happiness, or sadness, which means it can be used in more commercial scenarios, such as virtual human customer service, online class, commercial live streaming, news anchor, smart speakers, among many others that are emerging. Bravo! Now that we have a clear picture of the three virtual human services from generation to live streaming and video production, we look, look forward to more of the latest innovations from Meta Studio. Thank you all. Stay tuned to Meta Studio. See you next time. Thank you, Sarah. Now let's take a look at Code Arts, the new Dev Cloud service. It provides coding experience anytime, anywhere to developers. My colleague Wang Yawei will show us about Code Arts. Thank you, Mr. Zhang Pingan. I am Wang Yawei. Code Arts is a smart integrated development environment. It aims to help developers use Huawei Cloud more easily and build applications on the cloud more efficiently. As the Huawei Cloud Developer Desktop, Code Arts is a suite that connects to more than 220 Huawei Cloud services and integrates more than 4,500 Huawei Cloud APIs. In addition, Code Arts integrates intelligence into each development phase. Using deep learning, we accurately recommend and generate code for users based on the semantic understanding of the code context at the cursor position. Code Search analyzes historical code activities and quickly returns search results from key words of user. In addition, Code Arts has open plugin standards and a plugin market. We welcome more developers on board for a stronger developer ecosystem. Thank you, Yahweh. The four pipelines of Huawei Cloud cover data governance, AI development, digital content, and software development making it easy for everyone to become a developer and bring innovation to your fingertips. Let's take a look at Infrastructure as a Service. Coolverse, the Huawei Cloud Global Network, builds infrastructure with consistent experience around the world. We continue to build data centers in regions that need them. This year, Huawei Cloud will deploy new regions such as Ireland and Indonesia to extend services around the world. With Coolverse and Huawei's more than 20 years of experience in operations outside China, Huawei Cloud provides a global boost to security compliance, application acceleration, intelligent localization, and enterprise services, helping enterprises expand globally. In addition, the Huawei Cloud White Paper is a roadmap for these enterprises, covering five regions and 12 key countries. This white paper analyzes the development and market opportunities in e-commerce, fintech, gaming, and social entertainment industries. Please scan the QR code and download. 
Huawei Cloud uses distributed cloud-native applications to provide the same application experience globally. It uses IES to deploy SaaS applications locally, so that partners can enjoy the O&M-free public cloud with low latency and local compliance. Currently, IES supports a wide range of cloud services including compute, storage, database, and AI services on demand when integrating software and hardware. Let's check out a Yongyou success story. Huawei Cloud's IES is the solution for our demanding requirements. Using Huawei Cloud IES, our Young BIP Advanced Edition localizes deployment of ERP SaaS. Compared with traditional deployment that requires software licenses and third party hardware, the Young BIP Advanced Edition integrates software and hardware and does not need to interconnect with multiple vendors. Deployment shortened from three months to three weeks. In addition, our Young BIP Advanced Edition supports online remote O&M, an upgrade to make us responsive in minutes instead of days. Thank you, Yongyo. Next, I'm pleased to introduce you to the new Huawei Cloud Ecosystem Framework. We focus on building partner competency and overhauling our partner system. The new partner system includes two collaboration frameworks, Go Cloud and Grow Cloud. Go Cloud cultivates and develops partner competencies, helping you build rich solutions and services on Huawei Cloud while creating more value for your customers. Grow Cloud encourages partners to recommend Huawei Cloud to more customers. Huawei Cloud has designed six growth paths for different types of partners. For service partners, we train service professionals, subsidize dedicated teams, and incentivize migration to enable partners to build delivery competency centers and help customers migrate services to Huawei Cloud. For software partners, we provide experts, tools, cloud resources, and monetary incentives to help partners build SaaS applications and solutions on Huawei Cloud. In addition, Cool Gallery connects customers and partners, helping partners monetize their business. For digital transformation and the system integration partners, we empower their consulting and service capabilities on Huawei Cloud through opportunity sharing and enablement training, and enable them to provide their customers with one-stop digital transformation services such as consulting, migration, and management. As a developer, you are integral to the Huawei Cloud ecosystem. We partner Huawei ecosystems including Quinpeng, Ascend, Harmony OS and HMS to support the developer ecosystem. We aim to attract more than 1.4 million developers to Huawei Cloud this year. At the same time, the Huawei Cloud Developer Program supports the growth of developers in Quinpeng, AI, and industry cloud innovation centers. This year, we plan 5 million developer empowerments. Arthur C. Clarke, author of the 2001 A Space Odyssey, once said, Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Here is to our magicians, the people coding our world. They are the people reshaping our world with their code. Today, we have invited two developers to show us how they did it. Welcome. Welcome both. Let's see how you change the world with code. Please begin.
Xin Ruolin, a developer from BUPT. Please show your code. The satellite application has been deployed. Now let's connect to the satellite ground station in Changsha. What's the temperature on the satellite right now? The satellite platform temperature is normal. The current load temperature is 53 degrees. What's the workload of the satellite? The CPU usage of satellite is 13%. Very good. Please take a picture of the Earth for me. Request sent. This is an image of the ocean just taken by the satellite. This is world's first native satellite of the Tianxuan constellation. This satellite is powered by Coop Edge, a cloud-native computing platform incubated and open-sourced by Huawei Cloud, as well as Setna, the AI framework featuring Edge Cloud Synergy. Cloud-native capabilities greatly reduce the threshold for satellite operations. Magical functions like talking to satellites are no longer dreams. For example, while driving, you can directly say to the satellite, improve navigation accuracy to the highest level. We look forward to the day when everyone can talk to the satellite. Thank you, Xin Ruolin. Next, Xiao Wu, a developer of Huawei Cloud, please show your code. The brain-controlled car has been deployed. According to the moderator's command, I use brain waves to control the car's motion. Forward. Backward. Turn. Brain-computer interaction is a very important new type of human-computer interaction. EEG signal decoding is key. By using Model Arts, the one-stop AI development platform for Huawei Cloud, we can quickly annotate EEG data to complete AI model training and deployment. It can greatly improve the development efficiency of brain-computer interaction applications. We also hope that in a few years, brain-computer interaction will be as common as voice and gesture interaction. Thank you, Xiaowu. That's brilliant. I'm impressed. Developers change our world with their ideas. Today, we officially announced the 2022 Huawei Developer Competition, covering two tracks and facing six regions. Registration is open at Huawei Cloud website. Join the Huawei 2022 Developer Competition. Spark, Infinity, and make your name. Thanks to our developers. We at Huawei Cloud continue to work with partners and developers to inspire new value with everything as a service. With the sparks of innovation, let's light up the future together. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zhang, for introducing the concept Everything as a service on Huawei Cloud. Next, we will unveil new Huawei Cloud technologies that can facilitate your digital transformation. Let's welcome Bruno Chang, CTO of Huawei Cloud. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the conference. I'm glad to have this chance to talk to you about Huawei Cloud's latest innovation and the best way to drive digital transformation for enterprises. The topic of my talk today is dive into digital with cloud native and cutting edge technologies. Cloud native is the future. I think most of you can agree with me on this. Cloud adoption by enterprise has moved on from simply lifting and shifting application to the cloud to cloud native innovation and from being resource-centric to application-centric. With a cloud-native architecture, enterprise will gradually accumulate more of the following IT assets. First, software assets, that is, applications. We hope to use DevOps to help you improve software production efficiency and modernize the production line. Second. Data assets. We hope to use data ops to help you automate 
data production, eliminate data silos, and build lake house that combine data lakes and warehouse. The third is AI model assets. In an AI model is embodiment of knowledge summarized from past experience, except that the summarization is not done by humans. Rather, it is done through massive training using particular data sets. Most mainstream vendors, including Huawei, have launched AI production lines to train and deploy AI models. That is machine learning ops. Finally, these assets are not used for the physical world alone. They are also used by enterprise to build a virtual digital world called Metaverse. This is where MetaOps comes in. Today, these assets and the production lines are still isolated. However, in the future, as digital transformation continues, these four product lines will converge to enable brand new production methods. Applications, data, AI, and the digital content production will be integrated in a new converged production line, so you can quickly utilize new technologies and methods to acquire new capability and stay at the forefront of innovation. During Huawei Connect 2021, we announced the Everything as a Service strategy. In line with this strategy, we have launched Cloud Native 2.0. Cloud Native 2.0 includes full-stack Cloud Native products that we use to accelerate digital transformation for our customers. Today, we are upgrading Cloud Native 2.0 in major ways. In terms of infrastructure as a service, Huawei Cloud is committed to build a distributed Cloud Native infrastructure that creates a seamless experience for users. AI capabilities are also built into the Cloud Native security system so that security can be achieved in a more intelligent way. In terms of technology as a service, we propose four production lines. They include Dev Cloud for software development, Data Arts for data governance, Model Arts for AI development, and Meta Studio for digital content production. These four production lines integrate a wide range of cloud native technologies and they enable enterprises to quickly acquire new capabilities, improve efficiency and accelerate innovation and growth. In terms of expertise as a service, Huawei Cloud has condensed Huawei's many years of expertise and capabilities and offers them as standard services. Examples include Cool message for messaging apps and cool map for mapping services. We continuously expand and enhance our application platform as a service, that is, APAS offerings. In addition, we offer a one stop integration and a verification platform and a solution factory so our customers and partners can quickly build tailored solutions for different industries. During Huawei Connect 2021, Huawei's rotating CEO announced the industry's first distributed cloud native service called UCS, or Ubiquitous Cloud Native Services. Today, UCS is used in a range of industries such as automobile, the internet, and finance, helping customers deliver consistent application experience across different clouds. For example, Smartcom is a travel service company that serves Huawei employees as well as other customers. Smartcom runs its core application on the cloud as SaaS services, while its customers deploy applications such as OA, CRM, and trip approval on their own premises. All services run on Kubernetes clusters. In the past, Kubernetes clusters applic application upgrade and management were very 
complex. A different customer may use different Kubernetes versions in different clusters. With UCS, we helped SmartCom unify the management of Kubernetes clusters as well as upper applications distributed on and off the cloud. We also help SmartCom streamline management and OM across multiple clouds and regions. Based on our UCS solution, we have built the distributed cloud native suite, Crater, which includes the distributed cloud native service center, Capital. This suite serves as a platform for cloud native application lifecycle management. Combining this with Kubash and other open source technologies, you can quickly build a distributed cloud native platform. So you can distribute your cloud native applications across different, different clouds and on the edge as well. Today, on behalf of Huawei Cloud, I'm officially announcing that Crater is now open sourced. Huawei Cloud Eula OS is a dedicated cloud operating system that Huawei spent over 10 years creating. Huawei has made significant investments into operating system R&D over the years. In 2019, Huawei open sourced the, the Euler system, started the Open Euler community, and donated the project to the Open Atom Foundation. Huawei Cloud Euler OS is the cloud service edition of Open Euler. It is intelligent and autonomous. It has a robust open ecosystem, and it delivers powerful application acceleration. Intelligent and autonomous. This means the operating system is aware of both cloud workloads and the resources. Powered by the LK Smart Cloud Brain, this always makes cloud uses more smooth and intelligent for applications. The second, application acceleration. EULA always enables rapid elasticity for applications by providing unified cloud service APIs and a unified SDK framework. We can provide an OS as a service. The third, open ecosystem. Euler OS is compatible with the Open Euler ecosystem. Developers and ISVs can perform secondary development and encapsulation based on Huawei Cloud Euler OS to create their own products. Huawei Cloud Euler OS is now used in the system of many customers, such as Cena News. The OEM of the OS is a autonomous application performance is improved by 15%, and automatic root cause analysis is nearly 90% accurate. Applications are at the core of digital transformation. Modern applications are expected to deliver higher availability, faster time to market, higher level of intelligence, superb user experience, security, and reliability. To meet these requirements, we propose a comprehensive approach to drive application modernization, meaning we plan to tackle the infrastructure, application architecture, application de development, and application governance at the same time. We provide an efficient, secure software development pipeline and full-stack service solution to accelerate application modernization and fuel innovation. In the field of software development, potential vulnerability in open source components are a major security risk, and the conventional development platforms cannot solve this problem. They cannot deliver the efficiency needed to ensure fast service rollout. Huawei Cloud's 
Dev Cloud Software Development Platform use a series of development and OM tools to streamline software development, runtimes, and OM. It improves code security and development efficiency. Firstly, we offer a desktop-based IDE distributed acceleration of, of application building and an automated testing factory to improve developer experience and efficiency. Secondly, we provide binary code component analysis and mobile application security scanning to mitigate security risk to open source component. Dapon Express, a leading logistics company based in China, use DevCloud to transform from conventional so software development to cloud-based development pipelines within just six months. More than 750 services were delivered, and 80 service systems were migrated with six months. Code defects were reduced by more than 70%, and software production is now significantly more efficient and secure. Enterprise running applications on the cloud may still face challenges, such as low resource efficiency, slow time to market, and the lack of elasticity to accommodate traffic services. A service architecture can accelerate time to market and provide faster resource elasticity and lower TCO. This is why I believe serverless will become mainstream in the future. Huawei Cloud provides full-stack serverless solution and covering both fast function as a service and best backend as a service. In terms of fast, our function graph offers tailored function services for storage, media, CDN, and IoT, as well as more than 30 pre-built function templates and more than 50 cloud-based function triggers. So, you can access your service computing capability more easily and more efficiently. In addition, we have launched three new service products. CAE, a service application hosting engine, which provides one-stop microservices hosting and governance. CAM, a cloud application model, which defines unified service application description specifications, and the event grid, which enables standardized, efficient, efficient transfer of event among cloud service, application, and SaaS. Huawei Cloud serverless computing is popular among cloud-native customers from industry such as the internet, IOV, and the large enterprises, as well as Huawei own B BPIT department and the Huawei customer, uh, Huawei consumer cloud. Data and AI convergency is the future. In the past, AI was isolated from data engine. Both AI developer and the data analyst relied heavily on the data prepared by data engineers before they could start developing AI model or an analyzing data. Neither AI nor BI engineers could efficiently monetize data. Huawei Cloud uses unified storage and metadata to streamline database, data lakes, and data warehouse and AI platform. This enables efficient data flow among different engines. Huawei Cloud streamlines workflows between data arts and model arts, and by doing so, can offer one-stop data ops and machine learning ops for AI and the data developers. We also provide full-stack, end-to-end data lifecycle security to provide data security while facilitating data sharing. With data and AI convergence, we can unleash the full combined power of data and AI. Data security is a top concern for enterprise, finance, and healthcare industry. When it comes to cloud adoption, Huawei Cloud provides trusted intelligent computing service, or TICS. 
This service helps to eliminate data silos within organization and industries, and also across industries by enable, enabling secure data sharing using a series of security technology like Quenpeng Trusted Execution Environment, that's TEE, homomorphic encryption, secure multi-party compu computation, differential privacy and blockchain, plus federated SQL analysis, horizontal federated learning and vertical federated learning. Takes promotes end-to-end -end secure data flow and better utilization through cooperation between partners and customers. In addition, we were the first to combine federated SQL analysis with secure multi-party computation to provide end-to-end -end privacy protection. Data privacy, privacy is ensured before, during, and after SQL execution. We also combine federated training and homomorphic encryption and use matrix computation to process the multiple nodes of a batch processing tree. This improves performance by five to ten folds compared with competitors' solution. Huawei Cloud Gauss DB has launched three major upgrades. A cloud native multi-model HTAP database, a full encryption database, and an open Gemini, a time series data engine. The cloud native multi-model HTAP database support one-stop data processing. Data processing is more time efficient with support for high concurrency updates. Fast synchronization with just milliseconds of, of delay and the elimination of time-consuming ETL. According to reliable test data, this database outperforms open source MySQL by 600 fold in, in complex query. Currently, it is used by many Huawei consumer cloud services. The cloud native full encryption database provides data lifecycle security. In 2022, the full encryption solution was upgraded from software only to software and hardware synergy. Performance was improved by 20% compared with competing hardware only solution. Gauss DB is the first cloud database service in China to receive CCEL 4 plus certification and has become an industry trendsetter. Our Open Gemini time series data engine provides an integrated solution for storing, computing, and analyzing time series data for internet, IoT, and other industries. It delivers excellent performance in matrix management and aggregate query. It is also the data foundation for Huawei Cloud SRE. Today, on behalf of Huawei Cloud, I'm officially announcing that OpenGemini is now open sourced. We look forward to working with all of you to drive innovation in time series database to build open ecosystem together. Unified metadata is key to data AI convergence. It allows the same copy of data to be shared efficiently between multiple engines and enable unified transaction management and multi-version management. Unified metadata enables the following capabilities. The first is unified engine metadata. This allows efficient data flow and sharing between multiple engines. The second is unified permission control. Auth authorization is required only once before data can be used by multiple engines. The third is unified data indexes. Unified data lake indexes are built based on OBS to accelerate queries. The fourth 
is the unified trans transaction mechanism. Multiple computing services can read and write data concurrently, and the data tra transaction are isolated from one another. The last is the unified data catalog. It provides global insight in your data sets. You only need to store one copy of data across the data lake, warehouse, and AI. And you can choose an appropriate engine based on your service need. No matter which engine you use, you use the same copy of the data. Huawei Cloud Datars provides one-stop data development and governance for AI data convergence. This solution supports more than 40 data sources and it can schedule more than 100,000 jobs concurrently. It supports end-to-end data lifecycle governance and developers can use drag and drop for all tasks. Enterprise can quickly build an end-to-end -end intelligent data system covering everything from data access to analysis so there are no data silos. The core of data is end-to-end -end intelligent data lifecycle management from data integration and data lab development to data governance and data consumption. This include intelligent data preparation, where low-code data development enables fast data modeling, intelligent data quality management, data quality rules are recommended automatically, and the data quality check is also automatic. The generation of data assets, intelligent data security management, private data can be automatically identified, and end-to-end -end data security is provided. In addition, we work with more than 60 partners to build an ecosystem of data assets. Together, we have created more than 600 libraries to facilitate data utilization and accelerate data monetization. Huawei Cloud Models provides a start-of-the-art AI production line. First, Models combine cloud resources with the development tool chain. Beginners, beginners in AI can have on-demand access to much needed resources through the online code lab in seconds. More senior developers can use PC plugins to connect to cloud resources for remote development. This creates a seamless development experience both on and off the cloud. Second, Modas allows for distributed machine learning on large amounts of unstructured and structured data. I.O. capacity is hugely increased. This allows for fast distributed training on hybrid data. In the case of precising recommendations for e-commerce, models are routinely trained using the latest data, both structured and unstructured. This ensures accurate product, product recommendations to each customer group based on the latest popular item and trends. Third, Modas support real-time inference. Flink directly connects to Modas to perform real-time data processing and inference. In finance, Flink real-time inference and real-time risk control and decision-making engine are used together to enable real-time quantitative analysis. End-to-end -end latency is less than 50 milliseconds. Fourth, to bridge the last mile of AI implementation and accelerate AI inference deployment, we provide the model box application development framework. This framework hides the differences in underlying software and hardware so that you can need to develop the applications once but can deploy them everywhere. You can develop high-performance AI applications with, without much knowledge in the complex underlying technology and a large quantity of system APIs. A robust selection of AI application orchestration components accelerate 
adaption and interconnection by 80%. The unique hardware acceleration units improves inference performance by two to tenfold. Last but not least, AI computing power scheduling and model training are continuously optimized. End-to-end -end cost efficiencies is significantly improved in large model development and training. The high-performance deep learning engine improves end-to-end -end inference performance by two to ten folds, covering models, operators, and execution engine. To maximize the value of data across every industry, we work with our partners to explore ways to accelerate the development and the implementations of intelligent applications. Using our data governance production line, our partners can utilize data more efficiently and the efficient tailored BI solution allow for more refined operations. We also offer packages of AI algorithm services, such as all domain sensing and the decision-making support, so our customers and partners can have easily access to AI capabilities to power agile innovation. Finally, we provide a range of tools to facilitate data circulation between different enterprises, as well as, as, well as different systems within an enterprise. This helps improve data utilization and further unleash the power of data. Meta Studio is Huawei Cloud's digital content production line. We hope we can use it to prepare the industry for coming age of the metaverse. Many people agree that 2021 was the year of metaverse. With development of technologies for content production, display and interaction, the amount of digital native content will increase rapidly and the experience of the digital and the physical world will gradually converge. In the future, more digital applications will be developed to allow people to connect socially, work and have fun in virtual space. To build these virtual spaces, enterprises will need new platforms to develop and run digital content. Huawei Cloud Meta Studio provides frameworks for 3D digital content development, application development, and real-time interaction. The digital content development framework supports developers in, de in developing digital humans and the 3D virtual objects, from clothes and shoes to buildings and mountains, all can be produced through the content development framework. The application development framework can be used to quickly build virtual spaces where people can have new experience as digital humans. Finally, the real-time interaction framework allows people all over the world to communicate and interact face-to-face -face through their digital avatars. Using Huawei Cloud Meta Studio, customers from every industry can easily produce digital content on the cloud, develop 3D applications and industrial digital things, collaborate and have virtual concert and exhibitions. Let me introduce you to our comprehensive digital human cloud services, which are part of the Meta Studio. Digital human are very popular today, but creating a digital human can be very complex. Meta Studio integrates the end-to-end -end workflow for creating a digital human on the cloud for modeling, face customization, binding to driving, rendering, and uh, synthesis. So it can provide one-stop digital human production services. We also provide more than 10 atomic services and more than 20 APIs for developers to assess on demand. In addition, we combine the digital human production services with Huawei Cloud live streaming and Spark RTC services to provide a range of scenario-specific solutions, such as live streaming 
by digital human in the entertainment business, video content production with a digital human for air education, an intelligent customer service by a digital human for finance. By combining digital human services with AI capability, we have greatly improved the efficiency of digital human production. For example, in the modeling phases, phases you only need to provide a photo and in five seconds, you can get your own digital human model. In the driving and the rendering phases, efficiency is also improved many folds by combining AI with existing technologies. Today, our digital human services are used in a wide range of industries such as entertainment, the internet, and education. Microverse APAS aggregates Huawei's more than 30 years of experience serving enterprise customers, as well as the expertise of its partners from across industries, and offers them as a standard SaaS services or APIs. You can buy them and try them on our cloud marketplace. As a one-stop development platform, the smart stage for Integrators aggregates a large variety of application integration assets, such as connectors, surface models, and the common APIs. It helps enterprises eliminate both data silos and the silo architectures. Partners can quickly build their own application by integrating our ser services without any coding. In addition, the one-stop integration and the verification platform under these solution factories enable efficient self-service solution design, verifi verification, and joint certification. This helps to accelerate the building, verification, and rollout of joint solution. So far, Huawei Cloud and its partners have built more than 300 industry solutions together. These solutions integrate extensive industry know-how and drive fast value creation in a wide range of industries. In 2022, Huawei Cloud will focus on the everything as a service strategy to continuously drive innovation and provide more services and capabilities to enable customers' digital transformation. That's all from me today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zhang, for your wonderful talk about the Huawei cloud technologies. Apart from technologies, the industry ecosystem is also important for corporate development. Now, let's welcome Ken Kang, president of the global ecosystem of Huawei cloud, to deliver a speech, New Ecosystem, New Value. Dear all, it's my great pleasure to be here. My topic today is new ecosystem, new value. Before starting, I would like to thank you for trusting and growing with Huawei Cloud over the years. This year, we have new ecosystem strategies to drive you new growth. We are upgrading our partner network, cloud marketplace, and developer enablement services. First, we are reconstructing our partner network to provide a unified partner identity to collaboration frameworks, and we define six roles. As a Huawei Cloud partner, you choose one or more roles to play in our Go Cloud and Grow Cloud frameworks. Let's find out more. Go Cloud tailors development plans to empower every of you to gain capabilities, build solutions, and create value. For system integrators, we provide training and share business opportunities for you to learn and use Huawei Cloud. As our partner, you will be able to provide your customers with one-stop services, such as consulting, migration, and management. For software partners, we offer expert support, toolkits, cloud resources, and NRE incentives. This will help you to build applications and solutions on Huawei Cloud. Also, our marketplace will connect you 
to more customers for service partners. We train professionals, subsidize dedicated teams, and provide incentives to help you build delivery centers. With solid delivery capacity, you will be able to help your customers migrate their services to the cloud. In Guru Cloud, partners can work with Huawei Cloud through two programs. That is Cloud Solution Provider Program and Cloud Distribution Program. For digital transformation consulting and system integrators, software partners, or service partners of Huawei Cloud, you can join the Cloud Solution Provider Program only after you have developed the required capabilities in the Go Cloud framework, which means you are capable of providing customers with solutions and services built on Huawei Cloud. This includes software, SaaS, migration services, and more. For partners who have just joined Huawei Cloud Partner Network, they are still developing their capabilities. Then they can join the Cloud Distribution Program to become Huawei Cloud resellers and indirectly collaborate with Huawei Cloud through the Huawei Cloud Distributor. The distributor will help you to improve your capabilities and gain business benefits. We will support our partners in three ways. First, go-to-market support. Our partner can open the gates to business opportunities with our marketing and promotion resources, such as market development fund and joint branding. Second, sales expansion support with the customer development fund and sales promotion resources. You will find it it's easier to develop and serve customers and boost your sales. Third, incentives and operation support. We offer multiple types of incentives and operation support for your routine service running. You grow as we grow, and so do your profits. Our cloud marketplace now open in more than 80 countries. Over 150 partners are providing offerings in nine categories. This year, we upgraded the marketplace and have given it a new name, Cool Gallery. Cool Gallery makes revenue sharing even more flexible and across a wider range of business scenarios. In joint operations, Cool Gallery provides you four keys for better customer experience and loyalty. Multiple dimensional joint operations support also will help you to expand your distribution channels. We know customers, channels, and transactions are the key to your success. Developers are the drivers of digital transformation. We at Huawei Cloud are ready to do more to empower you. In 2022, we will cover more than 100,000 developers across Asia Pacific, Middle East, Africa, Latin America, Europe, and other areas. We are going to host more than 10 developer competitions, over 60 activities, both online and in person. And we will provide developer support through the three developer competency centers. We have also built an integrated enablement system for you. This includes the Developer Institute, Developer Community, and the Dev Labs, or online exercise lab. You will enjoy access to online course in more than 10 technical domains, four types of hands-on exercise, and four domains of Huawei Cloud certification. More importantly, we have provided more than 70 cloud services, 1,600 APIs, and four developer case. These services include Dev Cloud for software development, Model Arts for AI development, CCE for running containers, and CSE for middleware. Our goal for these open APIs and SDKs is making it much easier to build your applications, to improve skills, you can use our video course and dev labs in the developer kits. To improve efficiency, we can take advantage of the development tools provided on Huawei Cloud. 
How have we at Huawei Cloud helped customers succeed? Vidya Robotics is the largest outsourcer of machine vision labeling in Indonesia. They use Model Arts, our one-stop AI development platform, to make their construction sites smart. Their SaaS solution checks that their workers are wearing masks, helmets, and safety wears, and monitors construction equipment at the same time. Developing, testing, and deploying this solution used to need multiple days, thanks to Huawei Cloud Model Arts. It now takes only 30 minutes. This year, Huawei Cloud proposed a bigger strategy, which is everything as a service. We will join hands with you to build a more powerful ecosystem. Let's create value together and go for shared success. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Khan. And that's all for our keynote today. If you'd like to get more updates or contact us, visit our conference website or follow Huawei Cloud accounts on social media. We'll publish the videos of the conference later. Huawei Cloud, dive into digital, everything as a service. Thank you for joining us today and see you next time. Huawei Cloud is a cloud computing platform that provides services in multiple fields, such as compute, storage, database, and AI. On Huawei Cloud, developers can learn about cloud computing and software development. With the required knowledge, developers are able to build web, mobile, IoT, and AI products and services by using the tools provided by Huawei Cloud. In addition to online courses, Huawei Cloud also provides a developer forum and technical certifications. API Explorer brings the open APIs of all Huawei Cloud services together in one place. You can search for APIs, view documentations, debug APIs, and view SDK code samples and CLI examples. With API Explorer, you can efficiently interconnect with Huawei Cloud open APIs. On Huawei Cloud official website, choose Documentation, API Explorer. On the API Explorer homepage, search for Cloud Services and Open APIs. On the Details page of an API, view the documentations including the function's description, URI, request and response parameters, example request and responses, return values and error code. You can also set parameters to debug the API. To integrate a Huawei Cloud Open API, click the Sample Code tab, select an SDK of a desired language, and set parameters to generate sample code. API Explorer supports seven common programming languages. If you use the CLI, click the CLI Example tab and generate commands. You can use the CLI on or off the cloud. To debug APIs on API Explorer, log in to Huawei Cloud. Debugging means calling APIs. You may be built for API calls. SDK Center brings the latest SDKs for Huawei Cloud services together in one place. You can search for SDKs in different languages and reference SDKs from popular central repositories, 
facilitating the use of Huawei Cloud Open APIs. On Huawei Cloud official website, choose Documentation, SDK. On the SDK Center homepage, search for Cloud Service SDKs. View and download SDKs in Java, Python, Go, Node.js, .NET, PHP, and C++. From Maven, Pipe, NPM, NuGet, and other popular central repositories. Open SDK source code projects of different languages and view the instructions on how to install and use these SDKs on GitHub. Huawei Cloud Developer Forum is a place where you can view and post technical questions and feedback and let the community benefit from your knowledge. The forum provides contents such as technical interpretation, documentations, and Q&A, and hosts online activities at times. To access the forum, you can visit the Huawei Cloud homepage and click Developer Forum under Documentations on the top navigation bar. On the homepage of the forum, you can select all questions or a specific sections to view the articles and questions posted by developers and sections moderators. You can like, comment on, or share the post you are interested in. You can also share your own experience and knowledge to inspire other developers. Select a learning path. Click Enroll Now. Click Enroll Study. On the login page display, enter your Huawei Cloud account and click Log In. Click the chapter and section names to watch the course videos. Select a course. Click Enroll Study. View the course information. Choose a certification program. Click Learn More. Select Certification Level and Technical Domain. On the Certification Details page display, click Start next to Online Learning to start learning the courses. Click Start next to Hands-on Practice to start exercises by following the guide. Click Start next to Practice Exam to take the exercise exam. Click Start next to Written Test to schedule the written exam. After you pass the written exam, click Start next to Certificate to download the certificate. Hello everyone, I'm Su Yongning, a Product Lifecycle Manager of Huawei Cloud Model Arts. Today, I'm glad to share the topic, Model Arts Best Practices, Cloud Native AI Development, based on Industry Algorithm Suites. How does an AI engineer develop apps to deal with AI service problems or abstract AI problems? There are two challenges. First, how do we use data to quickly build experiment prototypes and explore 
and iterate them. Second, how can we efficiently develop and produce standard deliverables to accelerate the implementation of AI services? In the exploration phase, a proper environment, available algorithms, convenient tools, and on-demand compute resources are the most important factors. In terms of environment and compute resources, Modas has serverless notebook and scalable compute resources. This way, you can quickly build an environment with AI compute resources. For algorithms, Modas provides a wide selection of AI algorithm suites for various industries. You can always find appropriate ones, subscribe to, and run them directly on Modas. For tools, Modas allows you to configure processes using parameters with Cloud Notebook. This makes the exploration easier and more efficient. So why do we use Notebook for AI development and exploration? Notebooks work in every phase of the AI development and exploration lifecycle, from data processing to model development, verification, and commissioning. It provides an interactive programming experience and meets data visualization requirements. You can quickly share results and reproduce analytics. The figure on the right shows Notebook is the most popular IDE of the respondents. However, Notebook has some disadvantages. For example, workflows are not clearly defined in version management and distributed commissioning and heavy asynchronous tasks are not user-friendly. In spite of these disadvantages, it still is our preferred tool for AI exploration. Notebook is also the common choice of other cloud vendors for AI development. They develop the Jupyter Lab base and plugins for free resources, collaborations, and exchanges. Modas Notebook is developed based on the Jupyter Lab base and has a variety of plugins, such as resource switching, code lab, and cloud and on-premises plugins for differentiated use scenarios. The tool suits your programming habits and improves your development efficiency. You need to find algorithms appropriate for your service requirements adapt algorithms to the environment, and tune parameters. Modas provides you with a wide selection of AI algorithm suites for various industries. The suites are developed based on our own experience and derived from open source communities. For self-developed algorithms, we have developed a range of pre-trained models algorithms and datasets for specific industries based on our experience in AI development. Currently, we have algorithms for image classification, object detection, viral segmentation, posture estimation, and etc. Et we will continue to enrich the suites in the future you can subscribe to them in AI Gallery and run them directly on Modas. This improves the efficiency of AI development and exploration. For open source algorithms, we have completed non-intrusive adaptation of mainstream algorithm suites, such as MM detection and MMOCR. The suites can be quickly loaded and run on models like Huawei developed suites. Now you can use these tools and algorithms to explore and optimize your AI development. Modas Notebook can help you accelerate the development process with 
parameter-based configuration, graphical display, and interactive commissioning. Fingers on the right show some uh, notebook cells. You can define date processing and training processes through parameters. You can view the training results in graphs instead of in a large number of logs. You can commission algorithm programs in an interactive way. We provide many basic components and allow you to customize components. You can also customize plugins that meet your own requirements and suit your habits. The resources and compute power required for Monad's cloud native AI development are built on Huawei's open cloud native platform. The easy to use, open basic cloud native functions with intellectual property rights enable you to flexibly obtain on demand resources and compute power at a low cost. As we have learned before, the experiment prototypes and exploration of AI development are powered by interactive, serverless, and parameter-based Modas notebook. Additionally, the on-demand compute resources and rich algorithm ways accelerate the process. Team development and application implementation for AI are carried out by multiple persons in multiple phases involving data processing, algorithm development and optimization, model training and inference development and test. Furthermore, repeated iterations are required in subsequent operations. How can this be done efficiently? I like to share Huawei's practices. Leveraging traditional software development experience and practices, we use AI engineering development. All the involved tools, development standards, and code-based engineer management help teams complete collaborative AI development and application implementation. To sustain typical IDE usage habits, we use the VS Code or PyCharm plugins provided by Modas to code on the local VS Code or PyCharm and assess cloud resources for remote development and debugging. In addition, in-cloud model training and deployment can be used. To standardize AI development, we define an AI engineering framework. The framework is a summary and accumulation of our practices. We offer standard AI engineering development templates in Modas. In these templates, the phases for data, algorithm, and inference are configured. A CLI engineering scaffold is also provided to integrate all Modas functions through coding and commands for full process AI engineering development. Based on the engineering phases, you can break down a requirement and assign tasks to different team members for collaborative development. The right of the slide shows the standardized engineering structure. We can configure an AI process, steps, activities, and resources through coding and centrally manage them through code repositories. For example, we can configure workflows, images, training jobs, and application deployment, and use unified asset management for AI engineering development. As we know, there is still a gap between in-cloud IDEs and the traditional IDEs. To better match the habits of using common IDEs, we provide 
Modas plugins based on VS Code or PyCharm for you to carry out local development and debugging. You can also use in-cloud resources, for example, GPUs based on demand through the plugins that can be installed and configured with one click. All these simplify your operations. We are accelerating the pace of immersed AI development. The AI compute resources, cloud storage, and preset AI images bring you with both convenient in-cloud and smooth on-premises experience. Through the remote plugins, you can use the development, data, training, and inference functions on the cloud, as well as all AI engineering development capabilities we have provided. This meets the requirements of different members in your team. A rich and active ecosystem provides the basis for promoting AI development. AI Gallery is a developer ecosystem community built on Modas. You can obtain AI digital assets such as notebook samples, datasets, algorithm suites, and models. Furthermore, you can learn, practice, and communicate with others here. Assets in AI Gallery can be shared and subscribe the tool. Welcome to share your AI assets. This can help AI developers improve efficiency and accelerate the development of the AI industry. Traditionally, software development is followed by delivery and O&M. However, after the AI software is delivered, delivery and O&M as well as more operations are involved, such as continuous data update, model iteration, and hard example mining. All these operations should be standardized, trustworthy, and decoupled from the development process. To address these issues, we provide workflows. A workflow is actually a pipeline tool developed based on service scenarios for deploying AI applications. We provide a, a scenario-specific workflows. Then you can call Modas Python SDKs to orchestrate and develop pipelines for processing data, training models, and deploying models. With the pipelines, you do not need to learn the details of the entire AI development. Instead, you only need to understand the pipeline mechanism and the parameters to be modified. For example, for data augmentation or model update. This facilitates model iteration and release. In this way, service deployment and running are separated improving the efficiency of subsequent service iteration. Modas is dedicated to building a one-stop AI development platform to make AI development simple and efficient. It provides efficient analysis and design, exploration and experiment for algorithms and models, model integration and development, and AI application O and M in the entire AI development process. What's more, increasing number of standard AI development pipelines are provided based on Huawei's practical experience to better serve AI developers. That's all for my sharing today. To experience efficient AI development, Log into Huawei Cloud and use Modas. Welcome to interact with us in AI Gallery. Hello, everyone. I'm Yen Chen from Huawei Cloud. Today we have a sharing for Spark RDC. 
to show you how Spark RTC can enable various industries to have a better audio and video experiences. Today's sharing includes three parts. First is industry trends, and second is to show the Spark RTC solution. And for the third part, we have showed you some success cases. Huawei Cloud Spark RTC redefines real-time audio and video experiences. In the left, we can see Spark RTC can be used in different industries such like education, entertainment, and online conferences. In our infrastructure, we have 3,000 edge sites all over the world. And we have the infrastructure with diverse computing power in different regions like Singapore and Thailand and Hong Kong. With these regions, we can build our origin server which can enable some features and functions. With the infrastructure and the origin server, we can provide a better experience, which can lower the audio and video end-to-end -end latency to 200 milliseconds. And we also can provide powerful services, which can enable concurrent interactions and have a smooth interaction anytime and anywhere. And we also provide cutting-edge technologies, which can lower 30% cost and can improve the 50% operation efficiency. Second part, we can show you some Spark RTC solutions. First, the industry use Spark RTC is education, which premium interactive learning acquire more customers. Here we have three small scenarios. First is small classes. Small classes need high quality audio and video experiences which can enable one to one on one and one on one small classes. The customer and the teacher can have a better experience. With Spark RTC, we provide 1080 pixel HD and the lower bandwidth with cost for H.265 video without compromising resolution. And we also have a high quality audio at 40K Hertz and access more countries. The second scenario is large online courses. Here we don't have a limitation for the students. We have an interactive voice input from 1,000 or more students, and a single class can acquire more customers for higher profit. And the third scenario is two teacher classes for stable voice video and a smooth experience. We have a frame freezing rate under 5% to have a smooth video experience and uh, to despite poor network conditions. And the quality revolution access in a small and uh, medium cities. Second industry to use Black RTC is uh, online conferences. The interactive video conferencing and uh, remote collaboration. We can use the online videos with RTC like online meetings and uh, online trainings and uh, the remote business meetings. We have three features here. First is simple. Simple means you don't need to have more terminals or equipment. Use just a single devices you can join in the rooms. And uh, there is no limit uh, on the numbers who can participate in the meetings. And the second is the interactive. We support smooth remote HD qualities and uh, the stable transmission for HD images and uh, adaptive bitrate. And third part, we have the switch between multiple sales during a conference, so you can never miss a thing. And the third part, we have the entertainment uh, industry, which Spark RTC can maximize the live streaming interactivity. Here we have three scenarios. First is host contests. Host contests can let fans and uh, the hosts to communicate in real time. And uh, the fans can choose their favorite host and the host can choose their fav uh, best fans to just start uh, the real time interaction. And the hosting available to all viewers. The co-hosting function allows fans to jump in and uh, voice the support their fan, favorite fan hosts. And second scenario is online group chat dating, uh, also online group chatting like Clubhouse. Here we have the co-hosting in HD definition. 
there is no limitation in how many viewers can join in the room. Uh, the moderator and the hosts interact without uh, latency. And the co hosting also allows viewers to jump in and uh, speak and uh, to help their favorite customers win. And the third scenario is online KTV. Online KTV it need high quality audio and ultra low latency. The latency must be under 100 milliseconds. Then, when the fans or hosts to sing a song, it have a better experience. And uh, because the online KTV need uh, a quiet uh, environment, so the noise reduction is very important. The Spark RTC support uh, voice reduction for native hi-fi audio. And uh, guesses who can use these songs, the hosts and the fans can also chat, song, sing a song together. The latency can be under 80 milliseconds. The fourth industry to use Spark RTC is cloud phones, which can enable cloud device synergy and optimal experience at a low cost. Innovation tech for better sharing and uh, interaction. Here in the left diagram, we can see we can choose customized participants audio and video RTC for smooth communication. And for the left right side, we can see the cloud phone can be used in many application scenarios, such like cloud computing, remote, interactive financial services, and collaboration offer office, and live entertainment. The users just need one phone, and they can get the video from the online, and the video transfer is enabled by our Spark RTC. So the service is very smooth and the video experience is good and you don't need a very high efficient in your equipment. Very low price phone can enable a very large game. Here shows the Spark RTC diagram architect to show how Spark RTC works. Basically it consists of two parts. First is the client part, and second is the server part. For the client part, uh, we have the sender side and the receiver side, which can involve uh, pre-processing and coding and decoding and post-processing with our SDKs. And we also have the server side, which can enable many features like real-time transmission, recording, Snapchat, and uh, snapshot, and uh, streaming mixing. With all these features, you can enable some new scenarios. Here shows the core benefits of Huawei Cloud Spark RTC for education. First is low latency media network, the end to end latency under 200 milliseconds. And the second, we have a, a pro network uh, concurrent uh, to 50% video loose or 80% audio loose. The still the experience can be good. And uh, we have high quality networks in Asia, Pacific, Africa, Latin America, and Europe. And the second benefit is the crystal clear video. The potential H.265 encoding for HD 1,080 1, pixel experience at a 30 to 40 percentage lower bitrate. And uh, the screen content coding, SCC, for higher image text fidelity. And we also have a high quality audio which can support 40K Hertz and AI echo re reduction for better experience. Here we have a show. First, uh, we can choose the QoS based intelligent route. Select the best uh, route for a uh, RTC room. We have the ADN edge site and ADN center site to let uh, the users to have a better selection for the routers. And we also have the innovative RTC device network synergy reduce frame freezing by 22% upon wireless network congestion. First step, you just need the device to connect with our network acceleration. And the 4G core network will have the connection with the devices. So build a set up a dedicated barrier for acceleration. So the freezing rate is lowered. And we also have the best industries anti-packet loss technology ensures smooth experiences. The left shows the packet loss can be 
thirty percent in a peak hour, and uh, we with our algorithms like FEC and uh, resending packet package algorithm, we can have a better sending speed. And we can also monitoring the network connection. If the network is becoming poor or good or better, we can manage the sending speed so the packet can be sent at a better speed and uh, the uh, smooth experience is ensured. And I also have the industry's first uh, percentual H.265 encoding images to images the user experience. First, we have the layered video encoding, and the third, second, we have the 30 or 40 percent lower bitrate for a better user experience. And uh, the high quality video, the quality of the video is the same as the origin stream. Also, when you do the presentation or have the video conference, you have to share the screen slides. Here we have the SCC technology to, sh to ensure the smooth video. And also, when you push the turning the PPT pages, we can let you have the low latency. And uh, the picture of the slides is ensured. They have a HD display to have a clearer image or text. In terms of video, we also have an in-house audio algorithms for solid reliability. To compare traditional and AI echo reduction, the AI echo reduction have a better experience. And the AI based bed for noise reduction and automatic gain can let you to hear the best audio experiences. Here shows how we do the efficient operation and maintenance. We provided the easy to use and the resource saving SDKs for all major of devices, such like Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, or website. It just need a very low package. We can implement our SDKs. The SDK is like 5 MB or lower than 5 MB. And it is easy to do the implementation. We provide the API document, and it can be easily implemented to your systems or apps. Here, we also provide the end-to-end -end monitoring and the data collecting for our service. We collect the client source and the server source data. So the RTC indicator system planning have the different data coming. And we have three categories to do the RTC data collecting. After collecting the data, we will automatically evaluate the root or the site's service quality, so we can automatically improve the experience from the site side or the SDK side or the terminal side, so to ensure the end-to-end -end experiences. Here shows some typical snapshot for our monitoring system. It can be monitored end-to-end, -end, and uh, our SIE engineers will monitor our system you know, to ensure it have a better experience. And for the third part, we show some success cases. iXuexi is a Chinese uh, online education company. It has some challenges to do the online education. First is, it's facing some poor networks especially in second-line cities or some countries. So with our Spark RTC algorithm, we can also ensure the experience in that cities or some countries. And also students do not uh, facing the poor network. They, they can also have problems do the PPT watching. So with our video enhancement algorithm, they can see a better, clear PPT slide. And then also we have the Mieshu Bao Wang Wang HD Art Teaching client. It service the, this Wang Wang Art Teaching service, they need a HD image and a low latency and a more economic convention head. So our service provides these features to the service. Huawei Cloud Spark RTC pioneers the industry with their 
ultimate artistic experience. We have a 30 years of crash craftsmanship. Since 1988, we built our cost of business. So with our hard cloud, we can provide the best, best services to our end users and the customers. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to our session. The session name is Huawei Cloud Pangu Models, a new paradigm for AI industrial development. My name is Lin Xixie, and I am now a senior researcher in Huawei Cloud. First, let me briefly introduce myself. Uh, prior to joining Huawei, I received my bachelor and PhD degrees from Tsinghua University in 2010 and 2015 respectively. After that, I spent about three years as a postdoc researcher in the Johns Hopkins University. My prior, uh, my primary research area is computer vision and machine learning. In particular, I have working in the applications of image classification, object detection, semantic segmentation, and so on, and some uh, basic tools like neural architecture search and self-supervised learning. I have published more than 60 papers in the top tier inter international conferences and journals, and these papers have been cited for by more than 7,000 times. So this is my personal introduction. And now we enter our main content of the talk, which is a Pangu large model. So why do we need a large model? What is a large model? So let's start with the AI app development in the industry. We know now many industries and enterprises have been using AI to improve their working efficiency. But the lending process has encountered a lot of challenges. Why? Because the now most companies and enterprises have been used the have, have been using the workshop like AI development. What does it mean? It means that for every single scenario, you will need a single algorithm, an individual AI algorithm to land on it, which means uh, for a scenario, you need a, super, you need a specific AI expert and some AI engineers to work on it, which makes the entire process very costly and you cannot accumulate some expertise or experiences during this process. So why? because the differences between every AI project is very, uh, the difference are very high, so that you need to, uh, you need to apply different expertises in different scenarios. That is a problem. Now, we have designed a new paradigm for solving this problem, which is our large model. So what is a large model? It means that we have collected a lot of data and put the knowledge in this data into a large pre-trained model so that you, when you have a specific scenario, you can, you can transfer it into a pipeline and the expertises and experiences are made like some building blocks on the pipeline and you can do it very easily. Now we have more than 60 terabytes of text data and we have more than 1 billion image data and we have, absorb, we have absorbed knowledge from this data and put them into a large pre-trained model. Uh, for the text model, the, the model has more than 100 billion parameters and for the uh, image model, it has more than 1 billion parameters and the parameter scale is continually growing. And when we have such large models, every single landing scenario is made much easier, which makes our landing process much more efficient than previously. It means that the landing efficiency is improved by 10 to 100 times based on our pre-trained model. So this is our main story because our large pre-trained model can absorb some generalized knowledge and help the and help different landing scenarios to save time and working efforts. So this is our global, uh, our entire framework. 
based on model arts, our platform, we can have some L0 level models and some L1 level models. So for L0 model, which means that the, these models are working on some particular for particular domains, such as CV, which is computer vision, and LP, which is natural language processing, multimodal data, graph, or scientific computing. For L1 level model, which means that you can apply to, to, to different industrial scenarios, and in the right-hand side of this slide, we have put some examples of our landing examples. And in the following part, we will try to explain some of the landing examples of our Pangolin Lodge models that are both very successfully done in the past year. So the first one is the CV model. We have made a project on the TFDS project, which means the track field detection system. This means that you have a, you have a camera or, or a lot of cameras located around the track. And when a train passes, you can uh, take some photos, you can capture some photos on the train, and your algorithm needs to determine whether there are some potential faults on the train so that you can deal with that to avoid some further losses. Why is this problem very difficult? It is not only because the illumination is very strange, for example, the, the whole image is very dark, but also because that you have several hundred possible fault types so that these faults can be processed by individual models. So that it means that in the conventional, uh, conventional development mode, you need to develop more than 100 models to deal with these faults. But now, given, given our large pre-trained model Pangu, you only need one or three to five, a few models, so that you can uh, you can generalize the three to five models to these different faults, so it saves a lot of working efforts. Not only this, our model can improve the recall rate by more than 7%, so now our total recall rate is higher than 90%, which is much higher than the previous baseline provided by the, in, uh, by the uh, previous users. It allows the user to apply this system conveniently to a lot of real-world scenarios. And we also have a demonstration scenario for the CV model. Given our Pangu Lodge model online, a user can upload its own training data. For example, you can upload only tens of images and perform automatic annotation online, and you can choose the base model, you can perform automatic training, and you can land your model online, which means on our Pangu, uh, on, on our Huawei cloud platform. And next, you can upload some of your new images, which are test images, and you, you can get the prediction results from the uh, model deployed on our Huawei cloud platform. This is very convenient, and you can try it on our, uh, on our cloud platform. The next example is the Pangu NLP model, and we have tried it to some text understanding tasks. For example, we have such a task for law issues understanding, which means we have a lot of law texts, and we have to understand what happens in it, and if the uh, judgment is correct. And now, our model has only 10 days to process this task and achieve high results. But given our large pre-trained model, because the model has seen a lot of training data in the unlabeled text data, so it can absorb knowledge from the real-world data and uh, do this task very easily. For example, uh, when you have the raw data, the raw uh, you, you, you can make some prompt-based tuning algorithm based on the large model. And this is very easily done in the development uh, process. So the first version, we have 73% accuracy, but the accuracy is continually growing in the next five or seven days into 92%. This is because that our large pre-trained model has a lot of knowledge. The pre-trained the pre 
trained knowledge uh, offered a strong ability for the model to continuously evolve itself to be stronger and stronger. So there are some, there are many technical details in it. So if you want to understand it, maybe you can, uh, you can contact our developers for help. So uh, the truth is that we have continually pro, uh, improving our accuracy from 73% to 92% in only one week. And we have landed this project in the real world scenarios. Also, we have a scenario, we have a demonstration scenario for the Pangu NLP model. And here you have three text boxes, and you can write a paragraph graph in the first text box, and you can raise questions in the second one, and the model will answer you in the third text box. Even if the uh, the paragraph contain contains some ambiguous descriptions or the it's very difficult to understand even by human being, the model can understand it correctly. This is because our large pre-trained model has a lot of knowledge from the real world text data. And the third scenario is scientific computing. Now we have an example in the global wave height prediction. Uh, it needs to solve a partial differentiable equation, a PDE, which is shown in the middle part of this slide. So, uh, in the conventional approach, you need to simulate the whole process of the PDE, which takes you more than two days to finish the computation. But given our Pangu large pretrained model, you can solve it using uh, by, by embedding the PDE into our large model, and the solving process takes only 0 0.1 second if you pretrained it for. Uh, if you pre-train the model in our global wave height data. So this is much faster, order of, orders of magnitude faster than the conventional approach. This makes us possible to apply this system to real world scenarios to allow the users and some uh, related departments to avoid further loss. For example, the, when the wave height is very large, you can uh, you can tell people to avoid it by, by preventing some uh, outdoor, uh, outdoor activities. And this is a demonstration scenario of this one. And you, you have a, you have a earth model and you can zoom in to see the, the, the wave height in every part of this earth. And uh, you can even, uh, you can even plant some something onto the earth, such as a tornado. You can plant a tornado on it and see how the wave height changes according to the tornado. So th this is made possible because our computation is very fast. So, so you can imagine if you have, you, if you need two days to, to, to finish the simulation, it is impossible for you to achieve this real time uh, demonstration based on our model. So this is the, the this is our benefit, and the fourth one is the multimodal model. So this is multimodal means that you you need to understand the relationship between text data and image data and more even more modalities. So now we have shown an example that you are provided with a text description of how the clothes look like, and you will help the designers to design to produce the real. Uh, a real scenario of the the clothes. So you need to uh, you, you need to perform trend prediction, assisted design, and some other processes to finish this uh, the the whole design. Although some some text some details of the clothes may be uh, not perfect, but the designer can have some uh, intu intuition from the pre-trained model because it can understand the relationship between text data and image data. For example, you provided with a text description of a, a red clothes with flower patterns on it. It can produce some like uh, s some related clothes for the designer to choose and to continue improve the design on it. So this is a very useful and we have landed in a real world uh, company to, uh, to perform some assisted designs. And the final one is our Pangu graph model, which helps Guangfa securities to detect the financial anomalies. You know, many 
uh, companies will have some financial anom anomalies, and for the uh, for a company like Guangfa Securities, detecting these anomalies can help them avoid to avoid some potential losses. If you, uh, for example, if you borrow, if you uh, lend money to to to, the, to them, so uh, our model can solve this problem because it can deal with the structured data. For example, the financial data using our graph large models. So. Uh, with this, we can improve the recall rate of detecting the financial anomalies from about 70% to over 90%. This makes uh, our model much more useful in real-world scenarios. It can de even detect something that humans, human experts cannot detect. So the Guangfa securities are considering our uh, algorithm very useful in their real world scenario in their real world scenarios, and we have obtained some awards from the financial system. So this is our graph model. Finally, I want to say that the Pangu large model series have have a lot of models. For example, the CV model, NLP model, multimodal model, graph model, and the scientific computing model. So all of these combined are benefited from the pre-training process. Because the pre-trained the process have us absorbed the knowledge from real-world pre-trained data, and it can apply. It can help the application in the downstream scenarios to be much faster and much more efficient. So this is our talk today. Thank you very much. If you have more more questions, please contact our commercial uh, people. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, I'm glad to share with you how the intelligent RPA is developed and used. In this sharing, I will present you the industry trends, new features, and some user scenarios and cases of the intelligent RPA. As you can see, enterprise automation goes through a long process, from individual task automation to department-level process automation, and then to enterprise-level automation. The, our technology development also goes through several stages, from PC-based deployment to VM-based deployment, and then to end-to-end -end automation and SaaS-based operations. Now, we are at the 4.0 stage, where the RPA and AI are deeply integrated. In-depth integration with AI capabilities enables the intelligent RPA to process massive amounts of unstructured data. As you can see, the degree of automation is gradually improved from rule-based repeated task execution to knowledge-based inference applications. Then we added AI. This makes the RPA more efficient and intelligent because it can interact with you as if it has eyes and ears. To sum up, our intelligent RPA has five characteristics. Intelligent, fast, easy to use, cost effective, and reliable. First, intelligent is our most distinctive characteristic. We have integrated over 60 Huawei cloud services into the intelligent RPA. And we are continuously adding more features. In addition, we provide custom AI workflows to help you quickly develop new APIs and bring them online. Moreover, the entire system can keep learning continuously and automatically optimize samples based on feedback. In this way, the more the system is used, the more accurate it becomes. This is our eternal pursuit. Second, in terms of fast, our system can respond in milliseconds because it is deployed with device cloud synergy and the data and the services are stored locally. In addition, the system performs in greatly improved uh, through hardware software synergy and optimization. As a result, the system is highly cost effective. Moreover, applications can be updated through device cloud synergy. The entire process is very fast. Third, easy to use, 
is also a highlight of our entire system. We deeply integrate AI and the RPA to make the system be compatible with different systems and run stably. In addition, we have built various scenario-specific applications in the system, such as invoice reimbursement and contract comparison. Moreover, we can perform secondary development based on these atomic capabilities, which is simple and convenient. Fourth, cost-effective is another advantage of our solution. It adopts one-stop procurement and can improve resource utilization through virtualization. Therefore, it is highly cost-effective. Fifth, reliable is our sole commitment to you. The entire system has been certified by multiple security certification authorities in China and around the world, safeguarding your data security. As you can see, our entire system improves intelligent automation of enterprises from various dimensions. Now, I'd like to present you the new AI features of intelligent RPA. First, device cloud synergy intelligent devices can deliver various in-house AI services to you. Currently, over 60 Huawei cloud services can be delivered, including card OCR, receipt OCR, document OCR, natural language processing, conversational bot services, and video analysis services. With device cloud synergy, you can iteratively upgrade your services with ease. If there are any updates on the cloud, we can deliver the latest models to your data centers through device cloud synergy. In this way, you can always use the latest and the best models. In addition, device cloud synergy ensures that services run only on clients. In this way, your data can be processed locally and does not need to be sent out, ensuring your data security. Next, let's look at a new feature, AI custom template development. Enterprises often require recognition of documents of various new types. If no APIs that fit the needs that are available, you can use a custom template to quickly develop one. This feature allows you to perform all operations on the front-end UI. The process consists of three steps reference field selection, recognition area selection, and API release. The entire development process takes about three to five minutes. We have successfully used this feature in multiple scenarios, such as banking and insurance. The entire development process is very convenient, and what you see is what you get. Now, let's have a look at an advanced feature of the Intelligent RPA, AI Suite Development. It allows you to perform secondary development by adding data of different domains to improve model precision. We have built general-purpose large models in the AI Suite, for example, OCR or NLP models. In vertical industry scenarios, with the Huawei developed small sample transfer learning uh, capability, newly trained models can achieve high precision, and the entire development process is convenient and fast. In addition, the AI Suite incorporates a vast number of excellent best practices from industry expertise. For example, how to pre-process data, how to configure and evaluate model parameters, which metrics are used to measure the advantages and the disadvantages of models, how to test the models, and so on. Much industry expertise has been accumulated in the development uh, workflow. Therefore, by using these AI suites, you do not need to code at all. This makes the entire development process more convenient and efficient. Dear friends, now you may want to try the Intelligent RPA, but you may have concerns over the compatibility and stability. 
It is compatible with almost all kinds of systems, browsers, and software architectures. And even very old software can be used. It is also compatible with a variety of legacy software. We have built the quality check function into it to ensure stable running. Then let's look at its security. With the software security hardening capability, the system can isolate multiple tenants from each other. To ensure sensitive data security, sensitive data is encrypted and the permissions on sensitive data are controlled. In addition, screen re uh, recording and uh, log audit ensure that the system can be back uh, tracked and uh, security events can be proactively detected through SOC security response. Furthermore, the entire system has passed multiple security systems certifications in China and around the world, safeguarding your data security. Based on the preceding topics, we can find that the development process of the intelligent RPA is convenient and interesting. With the intelligent RPA, we can build various scenario-specific robots. As you can see, we have many successful cases in various scenarios, such as enterprise finance, supply chain logistics, and the government. Here, we use a simple example of contract comparison to show how the RPA and AI are combined. In the contract comparison scenario, if a contract file has dozens of pages, it takes a long time to manually compare the content and find the differences, yeah. and it is easy to miss some differences. How does the intelligent RPA automate this task? First, it obtains the contract file, uses OCR for text recognition to recognize text, including sales and handwritten characters and then performs full text comparison. Furthermore, it can also extract key element information from the contract, such as company name, amount, and date, and automatically compile it with that in the system. Finally, it saves and verifies the results and sends an email to notify related personnel to review the results. In this way, this issue is tackled very efficiently. For the robot development, the entire process is very convenient. You only need to perform drag and drop operations on the GUI. On the right part of the slide, we also list some real cases of different customer scenarios. For example, in the supply chain and automatic reimbursement review scenarios, robot development was introduced to greatly reduce human workloads. The time required for processing a task was significantly reduced from dozens of minutes to about 10 seconds, improving the efficiency by dozens of times. We also have many typical cases in scenarios such as bank branches, insurance receipt, and uh, epidemic management. We believe that the intelligent RPA can efficiently and intelligently serve millions of developers and empower more industries. Thank you for your time. Hello everyone, I'm Meng Yu from Huawei Cloud. Today I'm glad to speak to you about our fantastic product, Huawei Cloud Dev Cloud. Before we get to that, let's rewind a minute and take a look at why DevSecOps is so important in today's world. There's no doubt it's been a couple of challenging years during the pandemic. People are adapting to the new normal of working remotely. Unlike code collaboration, automatic build, and software release have become essential when you no longer have all your software team sitting next to you. So as we know, every business is seeking for digital transformation or is born digital. We are also facing many challenges during the transformation. As Gartner predicts, there will be 500 million new applications to be built in organizations around the world by the year of 2025. This is a huge number, but we currently don't have sufficient capacity. 
the demand is more than five times the capacity. Even worse than that, by 2025, the technical debt will continue to increase, and just maintaining the existing applications will cost more than 40% of the enterprise IT budget. On the other hand, the supply chain attack on open source software soared 650% in 2021. It has not only become a major concern for the tech companies, 425 out of the top 500 US companies, the top 10 telecom companies, the Pentagon, etc. are all affected. And DevSecOps comes to the rescue. So what is DevSecOps? First, we have to answer what is DevOps. People might have already been familiar with DevOps. It evolves from agile development, and it is a combination of enterprise culture, teamwork process, software engineer methods, and a two chain. A DevOps practice combines software development and IT operations. It aims to shorten the system development lifecycle and provide continuous delivery with high software quality. So the key words of DevOps are automation, continuous integration, and delivery, and continuous monitoring. So DevSecOps adds in threat modeling, vulnerability testing, and incident management. It integrates security practice within the DevOps process. Now you might wonder how Huawei, which is one of the leading global tech companies, adopted DevSecOps inside the company. Let me show you how we improve our DevSecOps solution over time. We company-wise continue prioritizing modernizations of software engineering and IT tools to improve research and development efficiency and security. From the initial planning phase, our architectures use project management and modeling design tools to make security design and privacy assessment, which enables developers to write software that's protected from security vulnerabilities. In the development phase, our engineer's code is also protected by the plugin code check tool, which covers a wide range of languages and areas that can detect security and other type of issues early before it goes to the production environment. Now it comes to the testing phase, and this might be the most neglected part in software development. We have automatic CI-CD pipeline testing method helping deliver software with high quality and accuracy. OK, for the build and release phase, we use software signature to secure the data integrity of what's ready for release and deploying. By fully embracing the DevSecOps solution, the result is incredible. We discovered 100 plus vulnerabilities which affect the four millions of open source software before they cause serious consequence. The whole time each phase cost in DevSecOps workflow is listed here. From failure to recovery, it only takes one minute. It works the same for the code commit to build, and then 10 minutes for code commit, commit to test, one hour for automatic test to deploy. For the iteration cycle, it's one week, and from the delivery of requirement, takes a month. This number is astonishing considering our R&D scale, we have 100,000 pipeline execution per day and 150,000 deployments per day, and so on. Now you see, as a company, have been putting a lot of effort into implementing DevSecOps practice, and we have accumulated years of experience of it. So today, I want to bring our best practice to you by introducing the application lifecycle management solution, Huawei Cloud DevCloud. This solution is built based on Huawei's 30 years of experience of research and development. So what is DevCloud? DevCloud provides end-to-end, one-stop DevSecOps solution. It provides all-in-one developer services from planning phase, development phase, testing phase, deploying phase, to the operation and maintenance phase. You can use DevCloud's integrated capabilities throughout the whole DevSecOps workflow without having to find some other services to complete your daily work. So I will talk about the detail of all the services later. Our platform is all about flexibility. Whether you are a trained developer or have few or no coding skills, you can always trust DevCloud to build what you want. We support both low-code and no-code de development approach, which reach, reach preset templates and components for developers of all level. Besides that, no matter what applications you are building, like I listed here, DevCloud seamlessly integrates with other services in Huawei Cloud ecosystem, like Service Stage, Function Graph, to support deployments of microservices, serverless functions, etc. So you can deploy your application to multiple environments. We also support other common application types, like embedded system, AI, you name it. 
So let's start from idea to the final application on Dev Cloud. Now I think it's the most exciting part. I'm going to deep dive into all the services we support. First, you can plan and collaborate better with Dev Cloud ProjectMan and Cloud Wiki. ProjectMan is Dev Cloud's project management tool featuring agile development and rich customization, etc. Here are some highlights. Professional and agile management like standard, SCORM, and Lean Kanban process models. Project space management, which includes large-scale, structured, and unified space. Providing best practice and out-of-box with preset templates and 10 plus Kanban dashboards. And visualize data-driven management. So you can use SCORM project in ProjectMan to manage requirements and person hours, track box, host documents in the cloud, and gain insights from reports. ProjectMan helps you take a solid first step when you enter the DevSecOps journey. If you want to improve the knowledge sharing situation in your team, DevCloud is also here for you by offering a secure, trusted, and comprehensive knowledge lifecycle management tool, CloudWiki. It supports multiplayer editing. You can request approval for your document and start an online discussion with your teammates. Your team can definitely benefit from this fast and powerful tool and break the information silo. After the planning phase, now it's time to start coding. We have talked about digital transformation in the beginning. Many software teams are also seeking for cloud transformation, especially moving their development environment to the cloud. So we tailor-made Cloud IDE, a lightweight integrated development environment in the cloud for those who are seeking for a perfect cloud-based IDE tool. Cloud IDE provides out-of-box capabilities such as coding, debugging, and one-click deployment to Huawei cloud infrastructure. If you are looking for open source plugin or any other ecosystem expansion, the Cloud IDE marketplace is the place to go. It combines the open source plugin framework and open APIs to build a thriving ecosystem. Managing your code is also the essential part of the development phase. Based on Git and Huawei's experience in managing 100 billion lines of codes, Huawei provides enterprise-level, secure, trustworthy, and end-to-end -end traceable code management tool, CodeHub. So code security is a top one priority when we consider what capabilities a code repository should provide. CodeHub secures your code storage from multiple angles, RBAC model authentication, data encryption, non-repudiation. So you can now manage your code with confidence using CodeHub. So the key information DevSecOps is trying to send is the security part. With the traditional DevOps models, it cannot sufficiently address security concerns, so DevSecOps emerged as an approach to incorporate the management of security through the development cycle. CodeCheck used Huawei Developer Analysis Engine to support static CodeCheck in 10 languages, such as C, C++, Java, Python, and other mainstream languages. It supports license compliance check and the 5,000 plus code check rule is built in, which covers code style, quality, security, and etc. It also supports five vulnerability databases for known vulnerability. Code check analyzes your code comprehensively to avoid severe issues. You can use it with Cloud Pipeline, which provides flexible orchestration and scheduling. When you are ready to build your code, you can take a thorough test on your code by adding code check job in pipeline and setting quality gate for the result. So we support both sequential and parallel job and sub pipeline stage job hierarchy gives you more flexibility. Now it comes to the build phase. Build is an intermediate stage between code and artifacts. It's the most important stage in continuous integration. DevCloud's cloud build service provides high speed, low cost, and easy to configure hybrid language build capabilities to help customers shorten the build time and improve efficiency. We are continuously improving the build time to give the customers ultimate experience, and we are announcing today the advanced feature of DevCloud cloud build, C, C++ distribute compiling technique. We use process incremental analysis and the million level concurrent scheduling technique to speed up C, C++ compilation time. From our real-time test, we are looking at a 20 times faster improvement, which is incredible. The build time of the million lines of codes of C++ source code decreased from 60 minutes to three minutes. 
I know most of developers are bothered by the C++ build speed, so Cloud Build offers the best solution for you. After the build phase, let's take a look at how DevCloud manages build output artifacts. Cloud Artifact is a secure and reliable software artifact management tool which supports 10 plus mainstream package formats like Maven, PyPy, Docker, you name it. So you don't have to install and set up multiple repositories because Cloud Artifact can work as a single source of truth for artifact management inside your company. Artifact security is also a big concern in many businesses. We provide RBAC authentications and authorizations, multiple checksum types, and you can always feel relaxed to keep your artifact here because we store artifacts safely with tamper-resistant technique. Then the artifact is ready to be deployed. Cloud Deploy is our professional application deployment services of multiple forms and technology stacks. It supports parallel deployment and seamless pipeline integration, so CI CD workflow can be all set up in the pipeline. It works with microservices, serverless functions, Kubernetes, etc. Operation and monitoring can be also enabled during application deployment on Cloud Deploy as well, so we can give you the full picture of your application's health. Now it's coming to the test phase. Like I said before, testing is the most neglected part, so it plays an important role in a successful delivery. So DevCloud, we don't forget about that. DevCloud Cloud Test is a large-scale, high-concurrency, and high-frequency automated test factory. It provides one-stop, full lifecycle management test activities. You can design your test, generate your test, see your test report. You can get the continuous testing and feedback on Cloud Test to help you improve your team's test coverage and test the quality. Now it comes to the last pack of services. The last pack of services I want to introduce is a unified operation and maintenance solution, which includes AOM, application operation management, APM, application performance management, and LTS log tank service. So AOM monitors applications and resource physical machines or containers, it covers application performance and status, infrastructure status, cloud resource usage, etc. APM monitors and manages the performance of cloud applications in real time, like tracing your cold chain. LTS collects logs from different sources, such as hosts, hybrid cloud, or multi-cloud environments. It can automatically analyze and give you alert when there's something going wrong. They overall guard your application and resource health and give you the feedback in the real time. I think I have been talking about all the services we provide to construct a full DevSecOps solution. Now let's testify how our services work for a big business by a successful customer story. Depon Express is one of the top 500 companies in China. The core business is large-scale express delivery. Other business include express delivery, vehicle, warehousing, and the supply chain. Depon Express started digital transformation years ago and officially joined hands with Huawei Cloud DevCloud to take advantage of safe and reliable DevSecOps ability to improve the Depon Express CI-CD process. So what they are looking for are security and high availability, comprehensive capability, delivery with high quality. After fully embracing DevCloud into research and development workflow, here are some progress. They have 750 plus pipeline jobs running right now, and they have 80 plus systems migrated to the cloud, 600 released versions, and one plus measurement units throughout the DevOps workflow. The result can speak for itself. They have 80% automation process of the CI CD workflow. The test coverage rate is six times than the previous one, and a 72% drop in quality detects. OK, now that's it for my introduction. Stay tuned. We are always trying to meet our customer need, and we continuously optimize our developer services to enhance the user experience. If you are interested, please try DevCloud out and take a look at men's page to learn about us. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any question. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chen Kang, a member of the Huawei Cloud team. 
Today, I'd like to present you the Modbox, our AI application development framework that can be used for the synergy across devices, edge, and the cloud. Modbox can make it easy for developers to develop and release industry AI applications. Many industries are carrying out digital and intelligent transformations with the evolution of 5G communications, cloud computing, big data, and IoT, AI is playing a more significant role in the different scenarios. New technologies and industries are being generated and developed around AI. AI is changing from a male business concept to an industry with great opportunities and development prospects. Huawei has been making efforts to implement AI in different industries. However, we found that the large-scale implementation of AI applications still facing multiple challenges. For example, AI deployment scenarios are complex, and there is no unified system architecture for devices, edges, and the cloud. Besides, computing platforms are heterogeneous and diverse, making it difficult to optimize applications' performance. What's more, there is no unified APIs for the basic AI inference framework. So users have to perform time-consuming API adaption before calling each time. To solve these challenges, we upgraded the one-stop AI development platform, Modarts, and released Modbox. Modbox enables models to run more efficiently with unified formats and APIs. With Modbox, developers can develop cross-platform AI applications with high performance. You do not need to focus on underlying technical details anymore. And your development efficiency can be significantly improved. You can train and optimize your models or model arts. Then use Modbox to develop and integrate applications based on the trained models. Modbox enables you to deploy the applications on different devices, edge, and the cloud with just one click, bringing the last mile of the implementation of industry AI applications. To help you quickly develop and deploy AI applications, Modbox integrates the following three core technologies. First, the high-performance concurrent scheduling engine. This engine employs optimized hardware acceleration units and enables you to perform refined and intelligent data computing and resource management. Second, pre-configured heterogeneous compute components for application orchestration. These components can be used for mainstream processors, most operating systems, and the mainstream inference frameworks, shielding the platform differences on devices, edge, and the cloud. Set the device edge cloud AI strategy unit. The unit enables you to quickly develop AI applications in a unified format and uh, deploy them on devices, edges, and cloud with one click. These three technologies bring great benefits. The inference performance is improved by 2 to 10 times, while the development cost is reduced by about 80%. In the following slides, I will tell you how Modbox improves inference performance and uh, simplifies AI development. First, we use a high-performance concurrent scheduling engine. With the support of this engine, developers can optimize applications without needing to focus on the underlying scheduling mechanism. Modbox encapsulates all tasks into functional units. Multiple functional units can form a complete application. Modbox provides a flexible scheduling policy. 
when a task is executed, the computing of functional units is concurrently scheduled by a thread pool. Such scheduling policy ensures that the computing units can be accurately allocated to the corresponding heterogeneous hardware. In addition, data and execution units are bound during computing, which ensure proper data allocation and high data throughput. I'd like to use a typical image detection case as an example. With the support of Modbox, the throughput of the image detection was significantly improved from 54 QPS to 442 QPS, and the processing latency was reduced from 0 0.51 milliseconds to 0 0.2 milliseconds. To make AI development simple and efficient, we provide the graph orchestration mode. All APIs are encapsulated as functional units. You just need to orchestrate these units as requirement. For some common inference scenarios, we provide a priority of pre-configured functional units so you can develop a complete application with low code or even no code. Modbox functional units can be used to decode high-performance images, pre-process images, and perform AI inference and computing. These units share the differences between different hardware operating systems and inference frameworks, and provide unified development APIs. In other words, you just need to develop an application once, then you can deploy it anywhere without any modification. We care about the developer experience of Modbox. Modbox provides a complete toolchain for AI application development. This toolchain enables you to get started with Modbox based on your familiar IDs. Abundant project templates are provided, making AI development easier. To develop AI applications, you can use functional units or orchestrator graphs. Functional units can be developed in multiple languages such as Python and C++. Graph orchestration is a visualized method to develop AI applications, and you just need to drag and drop functional units. Modbox also provides a complete debugging mechanism to solve the problems that occur during application development. After the development and the debugging are complete, you can release your applications in RPM or container image packages with one click. Last step, you can deploy your applications. You can release your applications as real-time inference services or models with one click or remotely deploy them to edge or devices through the Highlands Device Cloud Synergy service. Modbox also provides plugin to help you manage and configure your model permissions. Since last year, some of our partners have been migrating AI applications to the Modbox framework. We worked with them to reconstruct the AI inference service in the safe driving solution. Before the reconstruction, safe driver service will develop and deploy in traditional methods. As workloads grow, the existing AI computing capabilities could not meet the requirements. We sort of migrating the solution to a new platform, but this would increase scanning costs and require complex code redevelopment. So we finally decided to reconstruct the existing services using Modbox. It turned out that we made a correct decision. The reconstruction result is marvelous. The date throughput was improved by two to 10 times, for example, the smoking detection 
throughput was improved from 15 QPS to 150 QPS. The service compatibility was greatly improved without scanning. No extra hardware costs were incurred. We also used the more powerful algorithms, which improved the recognition accuracy by more than 10% and reduced the processing duration by 78%. At this conference, we have officially made Modbox open source. We sincerely hope to build a device edge cloud Synergy AI application ecosystem with all of our partners. Last year, we released the Modbox source code on the OpenAI community platform. It was the first application framework project in the community. Now our project has become more comprehensive and powerful. Later this year, we will launch more tools in the next version to improve user experience. We plan to provide more Modbox open source solutions, so you can use them out of the box based on more reference samples and projects. We welcome AI application developers to join us. Your excellent applications can be known by more people and be used on more hardware. Our Modbox functional units and application scenarios will also be enriched with your support. We also welcome device vendors to connect your hardware to the Modbox project through open source project. We will provide you easy to use applications and your participation will enrich the hardware use cases of Modbox applications. Applications developed using Modbox can be adapted to different platforms operating systems, and the inference frameworks. Applications in a unified format can be easily replicated on the cloud, devices, and the edges. Business monetization will be easy. Huawei Cloud Models and the Huawei Cloud Marketplace can help you develop, release, and sell applications. Our cloud platform sales network and uh, integrate partners. Help your AI applications developed using Modbox get more customers and more business opportunities. Today, we have more than 30 partners from different fields. We always welcome software developers, hardware developers, integrators, and channel distributors to join our Modbox ecosystem. I believe we can jointly explore the broad prospects of industrial AI applications and achieve bigger technical and business success. Thank you for listening. Hello, everyone. I'm Winston Zhu from Huawei Cloud Security. I'm here today to talk about our cloud security brain, which features simplified comprehensive security operations. Let's start with the story of this Greek hero, Achilles, son of a sea goddess. To make him immortal, his mother held his heel and dipped him in the waters of the river Styx, which offered the power of invulnerability. However, he died because of a small wound on his heel. A small weakness, despite overall strength, can lead to downfall. This is the same for an IT system. A small issue that is left unfixed can lead to big problems, such as attacks and even huge losses. So it's more important to eliminate risks in our routine operations than to recover the system after problems occur. On December 9, last year, a Log4j2 vulnerability was disclosed. It was regarded as a nuclear bomb level vulnerability. Attacker can exploit it and intrude uh, several through a special craft message. Nearly 10 million attacks exploited this vulnerability within three weeks after its disclosure, and the number increased by 2.6 
times within six months. Although cloud and security vendors provided solutions as soon as possible, this vulnerability is still far from being fixed. Why? I think they lack good security operations. Of course, it's important to take immediate actions when we find the server vulnerability, but it's more important to think of proactive measures we can take to prevent a problem from occurring. After the log4j2 vulnerability was disclosed, we collected feedback from our customers and found the capability gap between passive defense and active prevention. First, companies lack security operations capabilities. They don't keep updated with the latest security news or vulnerability information and can't defend against attacks in real time. Second, there are no effective tools to provide insights in security posture, to detect hiding threats, or to coordinate many security service products. Third, the company don't have enough experience in security operations, neither do they have efficient processes or guidance to help them deal with security incidents. The defense against this vulnerability is a proof of our security operations capabilities accumulated over the past 30 years. When Huawei Cloud was established, we built a professional team and a set of incident response standards. We call this team c -Cert, Cloud Security Incident Response Team. Huawei Cloud detected the log4j2 vulnerability immediately when it was disclosed and classified it at the highest level according to our classification standards. The CSET set up a war room team of security experts who quickly analyzed the disclosed information and worked out the defense solutions. The solutions at the server, network, and application layers were released within two hours and were deployed within three hours. In the cloud native era, security is a mere concern for systems on the cloud. Companies are looking for reliable cloud security capabilities, and Huawei Cloud has the answer. In the era of cloud native 2.0, cloud technologies can greatly help with the security operations. The architecture of the cloud is more clearly defined than that of a traditional data center. An asset management on the cloud can be more efficient. The operations system of Huawei Cloud can easily visualize the assets, accounts, re risks, and vulnerabilities in your system, helping you quickly learn your security posture. Backed by the powerful computing and AI capabilities on the cloud, our operations system can analyze and enrich security data from associated cloud services, cloud configurations, logs, and so on. We use AI to identify and classify security events, greatly speeding up the response to attacks. The Huawei Cloud CSET team develops automated incident response playbooks based on our security practice in the past 30 years to automate the response and remediation actions. Here, let me introduce our cloud security brain solution, a security operations solution for customers. Huawei Cloud Security Brain is an experience as a service. It can help companies build their own system similar to Huawei c -Cert. The Cloud Security Brain consists of five parts, posture awareness, intelligent analysis, threat detection, compliance baseline, and incident response. Cloud Security Brain aggregates more than 200 types of security data. It can collect and enrich security data to quickly find the threats and the risks. It can also connect to the customer-owned security products to aggregate their log data and threat information. Based on Huawei's security expert experience and AI, the cloud security brain provides 
risk assessment rating, security baselines, analytics models, and response processes, all very useful for corporate customers. We have put 23 types of baselines in the cloud security brain, include international baselines like ISO standards, and the industry's baselines like PCI DSS. We use AI to build more than 100 types of security models and over 100 sets of incident response playbooks to implement automated closed-loop management. Let's see an example. The cloud security brain was used to build a security operation system for a ministry project. There was 60 gigabytes security data collected every day and over 70,000 security events defined by security baselines. The cloud security brain detected over 500 threats and more than 9% threats were automatically handled and cleared. For the other 10% threats, event tickets were generated and sent to the on-duty team. This operation system could help the ministry close a level one security incident within 10 minutes. The work efficiency of the security expert in the ministry was greatly improved. Now, I'd like to introduce how different security staff in a company use the security cloud brain. The director of a security operation team can read the visualizations report to learn real-time data. They can get the changed asset information, the assessment results for the new assets, and the security score of the system. The director can check all the security risks on the dashboard and submit service tickets to team members. For the security operation team members, their main job is to check and handle the to-do list of the monitoring dashboard. Just I presented, most security events are automatically processed by the cloud security brain. And the team members only need to focus on the critical events in the list. The system can notify the on-duty personnel of the security team through SMS message or robot calls. For company CIO or CISO, they usually focus on the global risks and the security posture. They can read monthly and daily security reports to learn the overall security status from a range of metrics, including asset management, baseline compliance, protection rate, and threat analysis and detection in this way. They can gain insights and determine the action to achieve their security objectives. Collaboration talk, take us further. Welcome to our cloud security brain system. We work with our ecosystem partners in four fields. The first one is in industry security solutions. We focus on main services and integrate our partner's service to supplement our solution. The second field is professional security capabilities like antivirus engine and security information. The third field is professional security service such as key event assurance, penetration testing and security operations. The last one is compliance service. I believe our collaboration with partners can provide customers with outstanding security capabilities. Security depends on efficient operations and a robust ecosystem. Let's work together for a more secure cloud. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Nong Jiang from Huawei Cloud. I'm glad to share with you about how data ants enable automatic and intelligent data governance. My presentation consists of three parts, including the data ants overview, new future of data ants studio, and our strategy for cooperation with 
with partners in the ecosystem. Now we have entered a digital economy era. Data has been listed in important government documents as one of the five production factors. Digitalization opportunities are scattered across industries. It is estimated the revenue of digitalization will reach 23 trillion US dollars by 2025. Enterprise must undergo digital transformation and upgrade to keep up with the times and respond to market need. The market expects more on our service now. We need to implement intelligent service based on data, such as user experience improvements, intelligent service decision making, and intelligent process integration to help enterprise improve quality and efficiency and reduce costs at the same time. However, to achieve data intelligence, we also have many challenges. Here, we classify the challenge into three types. First, difficult data governance. This is a long-standing problem. If an enterprise contains a not unwanted data, and this data is difficult to find, obtain, and analyze, it will be difficult for the enterprise to give the value of data into full play. Second, high technical requirements. The entire process of data intelligence involves data connection, storage, development, governance, AI analysis, and modeling. And the data analysis and the application, each phase has high technical requirements and the need a professional talent team. Third, difficult service simulation. This is a new concept we proposed. Service simulation means that service can be simulated, verified, and predicted based on data. Therefore, we need to establish in-depth simulation relationship between data and the service. Next, I would like to introduce Huawei's Data Governance Production Line, Data Ants. Data Ants can help enterprise address the three challenges I have mentioned, and therefore maximize the value of data. As its name implies, the Data Governance Production Line processes mass, complex, and disordered data into clean, Transparent, transparent and high quality one and transmits the data to service. We have rich best practice both inside and outside Huawei. In Huawei, Data Ants has produced more than 100,000 high quality data assets. Outside Huawei, Data Ants service more than 1,000 enterprise. The tens of millions of Data tasks are running on Huawei Cloud every day. Data Ants help enterprise import, analyze, process data in real time. It provides AI capability to implement intelligent data preparation and governance. It provides full link data security management to protect privacy data and audit the compliance of data use. It also helps enterprise accumulate data assets, maximize data value, and develop, develop and innovate service. Now we have come to the overall technical architecture of Huawei Cloud Data Governance production name. Data Ants supports not only our AP data warehouse and big data platform, but also LTP database. Let's look at the technical architecture of Data Ants from left to right. Data Ants has many data integration tools and can import data into the NIC in real time. 
The data can be structured, CMS structured, and unstructured data. It also supports efficiency data integration in batch and data connection from IoT device directly. It provides quick access to APIs and stream data. After data is imported into the data lake and warehouse, the data ants lake formation and metadata platform can manage the metadata of the data lake, warehouse, and air platform in a unified manner. Transactional metadata in the data lake can be automatically updated, and the metadata of CMS structured data can be automatically extracted. The system automatically passes metadata and save it to the data catalog after some simple configuration made by users. We have planned to realize automatic extraction of metadata from unstructured data in the future. The core module of DataHunts is DataHunts Studio, which is a one-stop and end-to-end -end platform for data integration, development, governance, and service. With DataHunts Studio, everyone can govern and analyze data easily. Data development engineer can use it to develop data efficiency. Data analysts and service personnel who lack data development experience can prepare and process data without coding. With Data Studio, data is converted into industry assets. And the users can manage these assets in the ABM system. Data Studio also supports secure data exchange between enterprise and between organizations. As you can see in the right, right parts of the technical architecture, we have many third-party partners that are deeply integrated with data to provide various data applications. Next, I would introduce the technical capability that data we are released recently. First, the legacy technical capabilities of Data Studio will be fully upgraded to provide one-stop data development and governance. First, the, func the function of the data development editor are optimized. The editor supports more syntax association, quick cycle statements completion, and automatic Format optimization. The, un the unexpected closed scripts can be automatically restored to prevent code loss, and code retrieval in the whole database is supported. Second, team collaboration is enhanced. We have multi version management for jobs and scripts, and the production and the development environments are in isolated. Locking and unlocking mechanisms are provided for jobs and scripts to avoid accidental coverage. In addition, the pipeline cross workspace dependency is provided to facilitate cross departments collaboration. The scheduling engine is upgraded, including the optimization of the scheduling mechanism and performance. The graphical OM capability is added to support automatic passing and graphical display of job de dependency. The DAG graphical OM allows user to view upstream and downstream jobs, running results and logs, and make thoughts locating more efficiency. Now, <clears throat> I will show you the new technical features. The metadata of 
same unstructured data can be automatically passed, and the data can be converted into structured formats during import to DataNIC. Step 1. Automatic discovery of the files and message metadata stored in OBS, HDFS, Kafka, and so on. Step 2. Automatic schema, inter <coughs> automatic schema inference can automatically infer and extract schema from CMS structured data in formats such as CSV, JSON, text, Parquet, and hoodie. Step 3. Data converted to structured formats and automatically detect the change for data search, computing, and analysis. Next page shows the local intelligence data preparation module that will be released recently. This module provides the intelligence auto ETL capability, that is, auto ETL code generation. How does it work? Users do not need to have knowledge of developments that can process data and edit data flow easily, not only after some configuration. After the data flow are added, the system automatically generates ETL code. As you can see from the screenshots of our products, you can preview the results of each data processing step. Currently, we have released more than 200 data processing op operators, cover various data processing steps such as field, merge, join, and so on. We have launched the Intelligence Data Quality Check feature soon. This feature intelligently detects and repairs abnormal data. For example, deduplicates data automatically. This feature helps Huawei's supply chain system simplify and combine mass oversee logistics address. This is a simple example. First, we have fast index and pattern mining to find possible duplicates data blocks. For example, this column contains duplicate data blocks. Then, check syntax difference between data through signality comparison. This feature has high performance and does not affect the service database. With the feature, users can scan compute data in tens of thousands of tables five times faster than before. Next. I would like to continue with the introduction of the newly upgraded enterprise class data catalog. For many enterprises, data is distributed in multiple clouds and regions and need to unify the data catalog to display. To address this challenge, we provide a data catalog that creates metadata across clouds and regions. The automatically association business metadata, management metadata, and technical metadata. For example, the business metadata may be metadata of a business report or metrics. We also provide natural semantic search for users to quickly search data assets on the NLP technology. It provides search suggestion, asset recommendation, and sorting. In addition, we design a powerful graph-based entity relationship knowledge graph to automatically discover data relationship. Data relationship are very important because only by fully mining data relationships, then you can discover the business value. Our system provides advanced graph analysis with high performance, such as intelligence navigation, path analysis, and community analysis, and our system is very responsive. Data Ants supports four link data security management. Data security management must be implemented throughout the entire data process, such as data integration, 
data preparation, data catalog, and data service. We designed a centralized data security management system, data and security, to enable enterprise to manage data security policy in a unified manner. The data and security system provide capabilities such as data access, permission control, sensitive data identification, privacy data protection, data risk management, and compliance audit. DataAnse has many third-party partners. DataAnse Studio and DataAnse Native Formation are interconnected with SaaS production of top vendors in the data management in industry, such as BI tools, must data, data modeling, data tagging to provide customers and consistent developments and purchase experience. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Xu Ke from Huawei Cloud. Today, I'd like to introduce Data Arts Studio, the next generation intelligent data governance platform of Huawei Cloud, and one of its typical applications. Data Arts Studio is an intelligent data development and governance platform. It provides four end-to-end -end capabilities, that is, data import to the lake, data preparation and development, O&M, and data catalog. Let's take the smart store marketing case of a retailer as an example. First, the retailer imports order, product, store, inventory, and customer information to the lake with one-click import tool on data arts. Second, the data development function can be used to clean and process data and create customer tag and profile models, and product and store analytic models. In addition, Data Arts monitors a variety of metrics in the entire data development workflow. Finally, the platform provides an enterprise class data catalog for data assets in the lake for data exploration and analysis. Next, I'll show you the functional modules of Data Arts Studio. Data import to the lake. The next generation real-time data integration system can import data in complex network environments on the cloud into the data lake efficiently and at a low cost. First, just with a few clicks, users can import their marketing data from a variety of data sources, such as order information, to the data lake for further processing. During the import, the intelligent data engine automatically identifies data and the sensitive data classification of tables. Users can flexibly configure scheduling for data import tasks, including real-time, periodic, and scheduled. Let's look at the UI. Enter the data flow management page. We can configure seven data flows using the preceding order information with some information as the source and the other's information as the target. In every data import table, we see the sensitive data classification of the table fields that are automatically identified. In addition, users can configure scheduling con conveniently on our configuration management page. After data is imported into the lake, users can make preparations and develop data in no-code mode. This module had two major features. First, it provides automatic extra, uh, ETL, which can be used to prepare for modeling. For example, modeling for classified customers. It recommends operators intelligently displays results in real time and provides a quality and a relationship overview on the UI. Second, it provides a unified view of the entire data processing link to display different data models. On the data preparation page, we can see the created data flows. When users want to prepare a data flow, the platform can automatically add nodes based on an operator and output the result. 
The right pen provides different overviews and recommended operations depending on the node. Uh, in no-code data pre preparation, source tables, data operation operators, and intelligent operations are recommended from data associated dimensions, such as data relationships and data import tasks. Apart from data import, preparation, and the development, Data Art Studio provides intelligent O and M. It can manage data flow, running status, data health, and data security. It allows users to clearly view the running status, quality score, sensitive data classification, security level, and permissions of each node in the job flow chart. Let's go to the UI. We can see that the management page varies depending on the matrix very clearly. Finally, the platform builds a unified enterprise class data catalog for data sets in the lake. The data catalog provides four functions. First, interactive asset search. Visualize, second, visualize data graph, which can be used to mine relationships based on primary and foreign keys, lineages, and correlations. Three, quick data preview and summary, and the tagging for sensitive data classification using algorithms. And four, subsequent operations in the data catalog, such as one-stop permission application. On the data catalog page, users can search everything by typing the keywords in the search box. The result page can be divided into three parts. On the left side of the screen, there is a list of ret records returned by the search engine. Users can select one of them and then there is a graph visualization in the middle to show the relationships of the selected one. Finally, on the right side of the screen, there is another page to show all the information related with the selected result, such as its uh, data overview, its lineage, and so on. OK, that's all for the in introduction to Data Arts Studio. If you are interested, scan the QR code to have a try. Thank you.